third time's charm. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to wake you. So it wasn't a nightmare? No. No, it wasn't a nightmare. Mm. How about a nice warm bath? And then we can go out and try to get you something to eat. What do you say? Okay. I'll run you a bath. Is there anything to do in here? Just watching cartoons. Pluck it. Oh, I'm cutting my own hair. How does that work with androids? Does their hair grow back? We know their skin grows back. Blonde, white, black. Do white. Let's just make her look fucking like an anime character. Oh, I see. We can cycle through them. She looks okay in blonde. Hmm. No, we're gonna go full anime, dude. <coughs> Doesn't that hurt? <laughs> bum bum bum. Read. More reading. You're pretty like that. Thanks. You really look like a human now. Let's see, first Android Zoo opens. Right. Cyberlife is set to open the first Android Zoo in Los Angeles, which will exhibit all exotic species to have become extinct in the last 30 years. Loot turtles, polar bears, mountain gorillas, African elephants, and several species of tiger will be in among the most high-profile attractions. Cyberlife CSR spokeswoman Daniel Carnegie um, so the zoo caters to people of all ages and has a special mission to educate and inspire the younger generation about the importance of protecting our fragile environment. Though some environmentalists have claimed the zoo will diminish popular concern for the extinction of real animals, it's difficult not to be enthusiastic about technology being used to recreate vanished species. The animals themselves have yet to be unveiled, but Cyberlife promises they will be more real than the real thing. No doubt an ideal weekend trip for the family. Canada still Android free. Despite the United States voting in its Android Act as early as 2028, the Canadian Parliament has yet again pushed back its decision on whether to permit Androids in the country. As a result, Androids are still not sold in Canada and have no official status in the country. Is that it? Oh. With Androids continuing to fuel the unprecedented growth in the U.S. economy, yet contributing to record levels of unemployment, the arguments for and against putting them on sale in Canada rages on. But for the time being, Canada remains an Android free zone. Noted. Do, do, do. What time is it? Is there a clock? 
clock in here? Where's the clock? 10.30. No running in halls, no slamming doors, no loud noise. Thank you. Where's the remote? Some grainy ass footage. Very nice. The victim's name was Todd Williams, an unemployed man from Court Town. According to initial reports, he was shot by his android, an AX400. The android fled the scene, and a police search is now in progress. Oops. Reporting live for Channel 16 News, I'm Josh Douglas. had no choice. He would have killed me if you hadn't stopped him. What are we gonna do? We have nowhere to go. And the police are looking for us now. <laughs> it's just the news. So, uh... We can't stay here. We don't have any money. Do you have any family? Anyone who could help us? No. It was just Dad. Fuck. That android yesterday, he gave me an address. He said we could get help there. Could be worth a try. It's us against the world, Alice. Just the two of us. We have to learn to trust each other. I only have you, and you only have me. And I'm going to do everything I can to make you happy again. Alice. I killed your father, and now I am brainwashing you, child. Finished getting ready? I'll go out and find some food for you, and then we can get going. Let's find some breakfast. Wait, she still didn't get in the fucking bath? What have you been doing? <laughs> okay. Do you guys like her white hair? It's so anime. It's going good, Brooksy. How how is it going with you? Lieutenant Anderson, Detroit Police. Looking for a female android robbed a store down the road last night. You seen anything? An android? No. I don't think androids here. Have you seen anyone that looks like this? Fuck. <laughs> I knew there was something weird about her. Fuck. She came in last night. She was dressed normal, you know? There was no way I could tell. Is it still here? Yeah, probably. Room 28. It. Thank you. Ben, yeah, mm -hmm. still at the motel. Send some uniforms and cordon off here. Get to play as myself to catch myself. Now what? You wait in the car. Out of the question. I'm coming with you. Listen, I'm tired of you talking back to me. <laughs> You're a machine, so shut the fuck up and do what I say. Shut the All I fuck want up. is to accomplish my mission. I'm sorry if that upsets you. You want to see the end of your mission? Stop busting my fucking balls. My fucking balls. My fucking balls. Hello, Mr. Receptionist. That's pretty much how my morning went. Slept in, feeling good. Never mind. Guess there's nothing to say. Mm. Had an early lunch. Done pretty much all I need to do today. It's gonna be Detroit today. That's it. 
see if I can get this game beat today. That would be sick. But I got a ways to go, so. It'll take some effort. Is <laughs> it so not the one with um, Robin Williams? Wop. So boy, no officer. I haven't done anything wrong. Will Smith. What am I thinking of then? It's the one where he says UGLY. the street. seem like it's getting further away because I'm on the wrong side of the street maybe so far so good except there's a cop like right there Was it, I guess. <laughs> Humans only. Are you okay? Just wet again. A lot of people didn't go this way. Brown is 3%. <laughs> Let's just, just leave your hair the same color. <clears throat> Several sources report that CyberLife has provided Detroit police with a prototype detective android. Although police assistant androids have... Centennial man. That's what I was thinking of. Whoops. <laughs> Which is like a comedy or some shit. Yeah, 
DMC looks sick. For sure. And I'm more excited to play the game so I don't have to play as Nero. So I don't have to use those stupid arm things. <laughs> Let me play as the two good characters, please. What am I supposed to be doing here? Look around to find graffiti. Hey, isn't this what I'm looking for? What? I did, yeah. It's kind of spoilery, but it's fine. Not to say that, like, Devil May Cry story sucks or anything, but it's just, you know. It's not really known for its twists and turns. <laughs> it's kind of just, you know. A story. It's there. It's fine. This looks like a big section. Find the graffiti. Okay. Guess the graffiti's not that way. And I can't go across the street. Oh wait, no, that is the right one. It's just it was a weird cut of it. It's like this dude's fist. Ding. I'm right here, let me scan it. Let's see, we got this one. This is kind of a dumb thing they're making me do, by the way. Okay, I can walk this way now. In a brisk jog. It's like in an alleyway. I think that's it. Oof, 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 oof. I hope so, dude. I agree, they were pretty fun to mess around with. Excuse me. Uh, I'm gonna see if the game's gonna let me go back. Because I think there were some things to read. I think that's one thing uh, Double May Cry does really well is um, offering different play styles that are all still fun. Got your crazy fast combo weapons, you've got your meat and potato sword, you've got your fucking weird ones like Revan, the guitar. Just, it's all good, you know? 
I definitely lean more towards the weird ones, but that's just me. Yeah, V definitely looks like the weird one, for sure. Where is the last one? Oh, right there. Oh, it's blocked. Why can't... What is this guy's name? Marcus? Marcus Crouch. What? I failed the QT. It is indeed so cold in the D. How the fuck do we post to keep peace? Show me Cerberus. Is that the nunchuck? Or is that the, um... No, I think that's the ice nunchuck, isn't it? And this section is dull. What were they thinking? Find a way to reach the roof. Oh, I see. You can only move it from this side, of course. <laughs> I should have known. That's how trash cans work. He's an action star! Oh, that sounds cool. And much more uh, Cerberus y. He's nervous, okay? I don't know. I'm gonna move on. It's not gonna let me move on. Okay. Can I jump back down? No. Well, this sucks. right here. Duh. Very cool. Not! It's probably a bunch of boring shit I've been missing in this section. It's too big. Let's see. I could jump across. Or I could be cool and wall run. Too unstable. <laughs> I would impale myself. Uh, okay. That's all I see, though. What? Oh, 
Oh, now you do that. Okay. That's what you were supposed to do originally, you dumb fuck. Calculated. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> this section sucks. How the fuck are you gonna make this dude into a Terminator who came back from death and have him do this boring shit? You should be fucking killing humans right now. Come on. Now that I know you can change them colors. I'm not gonna fall for that again. This shit. This is so whack. <laughs> okay. Go back. I'm glad we had to rewind that all the way. Can I just like aim it or like does it just recalculate? No. I still don't really understand how this works. <laughs> okay. Big hops. Do this one. Wow, this is epic. Obviously, you gotta go for the least obvious one. Every time. Predictable. Now, watch it all again. With really nauseating camera cuts. What the f What the fuck? Stop cutting the shot! It was like 12 cuts. Please. Action, 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 action. Heart pounding action. Action. Marcus. You're super lame, bro. I'm sorry. Hey, there's a dead guy. What's my graffiti look like? Looks like this. That's, he's looking for approval. This is gonna be some, like, 2D shit. Is that what's going on here? Gotta like line up the the thing. I mean, it basically is the witness. Ah, okay. It's gotta go right in the middle. too far away now or like <laughs> okay a little picky a little picky I get what you're going for but a little picky and then there's some trash in the way emotions Motion blur. Gee, I wonder if this bridge is going to collapse. 
Wow. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Sometimes it's just a little too predictable, you know? funny over here? Like an easter egg? <laughs> easter eggs in Detroit, come on. Please. Time for the world's longest walk up the stairs. I'm glad that's here. They made a movie about this, you know? It's called Skyscraper. It stars The Rock. I like this camera angle. I'm gonna walk back now. <laughs> just to show that I have some autonomy. I am not just an android for your amusement. I am my own person. Who jumps like that? He lost his coat. This is like a fucking tanker. Yo, this is that part from uh, RE6 where you're on the boat and it's bad. definitely how you make those flashlights work. You move them left to right. <laughs> what is happening right now? Why is he in a boat?
Okay. Sorry about that. We're good. Push. That was loud. Thank you, thank you. Ooh, let's read a magazine on this abandoned ship. Oh god. Thanks for the host. I need to uh, change my host thing. That's just the generic one. <laughs> Uh, okay. So what we got? Cyberlife has unveiled a new quantum supercomputer capable of exaflops. One billion billion operations per second. The equivalent of several human minds in a single machine. Uh, the computer was specifically designed to analyze vast data from various sources and generate predictions. Philip Seymour, Cyberlife's director of futurology, is highly confident. We've been testing it for a while. And the results are going to wow people. The computer will be used to calculate the probability of mass extinction events such as aggressive alien invasions, if only, or global climate disasters like meteors or super viruses. The computer can then help us to anticipate and prepare for such calamities, ensuring humanity is never caught off guard. Despite doomsday predictions from those fearful that AI is gaining too much influence already, many experts are hailing this as a quantum leap in applied artificial intelligence. Um, Android astronauts. NASA announced the launch of a five Android crew to explore Io, one of Jupiter's sat satellites. The journey will last three years and ex is, is expected to teach us much about the formation of our solar system. Though not the first androids in space, this is the first all-machine crew, proving that androids are sufficiently reliable to be entrusted with the entire mission. Androids are an extraordinary asset for the conquest of space, said Michael Shelley, director of NASA. Cosmic radiation destroys human DNA. Humans suffer many effects from long-term space travel, while androids are immune to most of these issues. NASA confirmed no return journey was planned, oh god, and that the androids would work on Io for several months before being destroyed by the extreme conditions of the planet. That's pretty dark. Okay, note to self. Number one, change host, etc. notifications. Number two, make be right back screen, because I do that way too often. So just throw it up. It's written, it is known. Oh my god, this place is so spooky. Oh my god. That was so scary. <laughs> this game wants to be so scary and it's just not. Fucking lame. Oh no. I'm twapped. Is this where it came from? I don't even remember. I think it is. Have I told you guys how much this section sucks? This section sucks. Hey, there's a ladder. No? Okay. Clunky, 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 clunk, clunk, clunk. <laughs> Explore the boat. Very specific instructions. That one's still locked. I don't know where I'm going. You want to know the funny part about that jump scare? I wasn't even looking at the screen when it happened, so all I heard was the loud noise. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay then. I 
Hello. I was just in this room. Can I go through the window? No. Maybe, like, one of these dead ends I can go through or something. M maybe this one? That's communicated really well. I know, let's just have a bunch of junk. Wow. That was really dangerous. If only he had, I don't know, moved it before climbing under it. gonna have a bunch of trash at a bunch of dead ends but this one specifically you can go through just so you know when's mr. X in a thong Wake me up when this section's over. This is fucking trash. The only way this will be redeemed is if he has to cut off a body part at the end. Like Ethan. In Heavy Rain. Welcome to Jericho. Okay. <laughs> you know what that scene reminded me of? That uh that fucking goofy mean meme where he's like in the dirty ass room and he's like, You live like this? <laughs> yeah, I thought you looked familiar, the blonde guy. Y'all live in a fucking rusty ass beat up ship this really is the promised land Hank is so warm right now he's under shelter though chicken feed you want to flood it? Last shit hot tip you gave me sent me back a week's wages, man. Come on, this is different. It's a hundred percent guaranteed. You can't go lower. Yeah, right. How do I scan? Scan Pedro's hat. Fraud. Gary. Breach of hygiene regulations. Do I want to know? Is there anything else this game? Mm, doesn't look like it. <laughs> All right, I'm in. Damn. Oh. There's some. Sanitation rating. C Strict. for clean. Hey, won't regret this. What is your problem? Don't you ever do as you're told? Look, you don't have to follow me around like a poodle. Poodle. I think our relationship got off on the wrong foot. We should forget what happened and start over. What do you say? Look, you sent me a piece of plastic for a partner and I'm dealing with it. But if you think we're gonna be buddies, you're as stupid as you look. Got him. Scan! 
Your food is poisoned. Okay, well, the drink is fine. I would hope. It's from a fucking fountain. Mm. Go. Ah, uh, thanks, Gary. I'm starving. I'll leave that thing here. Uh, not a chance. Follows me everywhere. That thing. See? I don't want to alarm you, Lieutenant, but I think your friends are engaged in illegal activities. Well, everybody does what they have to to get by. As long as they're not hurting anybody, I don't bother them. Okay. Hello, do you know about your cholesterol? It contains 1.4 times the recommended daily intake of calories, and twice the cholesterol level. You shouldn't eat that. He's got to die of something. <laughs> Hank likes dying. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Why do you hate androids so much? I have my reasons. Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Hell no. <laughs> well, yeah. Um... Why do they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? Cyberlife androids are designed to work harmoniously with humans. Both my appearance and voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. He does have a pretty high voice. Well, they fucked up. <laughs> Maybe I should tell you what we know about deviants. You read my mind. Proceed. We believe that a mutation occurs in the software of some androids which can lead to them emulating a human emotion. In English, please. They don't really feel emotions. They just get overwhelmed by irrational instructions, which can lead to unpredictable behavior. Emotions always screw everything up. The androids aren't as different from us as we thought. <laughs> you ever dealt with deviants before? Several sexual deviants. A few months back, a deviant was threatening to jump off the roof with the little girl. I managed to save her. So I guess you've done all your homework, right? Know everything there is to know about me? I know you graduated top of your class. You made a name for yourself in several cases and became the youngest lieutenant in Detroit. I also know you've received several disciplinary warnings in recent years, and you spend a lot of time <laughs> in the bars. It's chowing down, dude. So what's your conclusion? I think working with an officer with personal issues is an added challenge. But adapting to human unpredictability is one of my features. He winks. I just got a report. When a will they media. fuck? It's a few blocks away. You should go have a look. I'll let you finish your meal. Good cock, bad Be cock? Car if you need hmm? No? Okay. Hey, Connor. You run out of batteries or what? I'm sorry. I was making a report to the cyber line. Uh, I'm sorry. I was making a cyber well, poopy in my in cyber pants. No. I'm coming. Hey, what do we know about this guy? Not much. Just that a neighbor reported that he heard strange noises coming from this floor. Nobody's supposed to be living here, but the neighbor Sorry, I have to interrupt but myself. He saw a man hiding an LED under his cap. Oh, Christ, if we have to investigate every time somebody hears a strange noise, we're going to need more cops. Burbs. Feathers. Hmm. Hey, were you really making a report back there in the elevator? Just by closing your eyes? Correct. Shit. Wish I could do that. Hello. Hmm. 
That was pretty unpredictable. Anybody home? Open the fucking door. I'm gonna bust Open your up. fucking Detroit balls. Police. That's what my human partner would say. Stay behind me. Got it. Police, we don't have a warrant, but I do have a gun. Frame rate, please. Yeah, you do the raid. I'm gonna read this magazine. <laughs> <laughs> Red ice. Let's see. Red ice epidemic. Synthetic stimulant, informally known as red ice, has become the drug of choice for Detroit's growing underclass. Analysts have pointed to Detroit's status as the epicenter of android production, suggesting that drug flourishes in um, the dissatisfaction caused by androids taking human jobs. Sociologist Dr. Julian Carter has drawn the same link with androids. As CyberLife's androids spread across the country, they will bring red ice with them. Poor men and women desperate to make ends meet are vulnerable to become users or even dealers. Not only is the popularity of this drug spreading rapidly, but its chemical composition is uniquely dangerous. Ethereum, the main ingredient in Android Blue Blood, is among the active ingredients in red ice. Dun dun dun! And has a highly destabilizing effect on hormone production. The National Association for Narcotic Prevention, NAMP, says the problem is going to get worse. The purity of ingredients is very low and deteriorating. America's biggest narcotics industry is only likely to grow. Red ice dealers are reported to have an unofficial motto. Where the blood is blue, the ice is red, and the money is green. That is the corniest fucking thing I have ever read in my life. <laughs> Oops. No. Go back. Pretty much, yeah. That's where the story's going. We're gonna kill some droids and get high. Past the tipping point. Environmentalists have long warned us against the tipping point, the, mo the moment at which global warming reaches a level that is irreversible. Scientists are now saying we have officially passed it. Global rainforests have been reduced by 79% by t or since 2000 and coastal corals by 58%. Poral I poral, I po poral polar. I'm dyslexic today. Polar ice has melted to such an extent that rising sea levels have many states struggling to keep the water out of their coastal towns. With these cooling factors so diminished, there is now too much carbon in the atmosphere for the environment to ever absorb. Portal. Every time I open a magazine, dude, it's constantly screaming, read faster! Jason Reese, head of the Global Environment Agency, said this study confirms what many of us have su suspected for a long time, but the real calamity is <laughs> the link decline of natural resources from energies to minerals, which are almost exhausted and can never be replaced. Many environmentalists have criticized, criticized Reese's comments as discouraging people from taking action, but Reese has defied these criticisms. It's important people accept the, res the reality of the situation. The planet will keep get getting hotter now. The only question is how fast. Uh, my brain is short-circuiting. Looks like a normal place to live. Why am I walking so slow? Birds. What the fuck is this? Hmm. Uh, Jesus, this place stinks. <laughs> Pigeon uh, HQ. Looks like we came for nothing. Our man's gone. Flutter, flutter, flutter. Flutter, flutter, flutter. Excuse me, burbs. fridge suspect doesn't eat so I guess that confirms androids don't have to eat it fresh air excuse me bird oh he feeds the birds Military jacket. RT. Probably initials. He put his initials in his jacket? That's something your mom does when you're in first grade. Mm. 
Rupert Travis. The driver's license is fake. Cool. At least we didn't come for nothing. Is there anything else to interact with in here? These fucking birds are killing my frames. Actually, I don't think it's the birds. I think it's uh, this, the dust effect. Clouds and smoke I, always. Jesus, I hate these things! In my games. <laughs> Post processing a thought. Got lots to look at in the bathroom. RA9. Is that all I'm supposed to see? Any idea what it means? RA9. Written 2,471 times. It's the same sign Ortiz's android wrote on the shower wall. Why are they obsessed with this sign? Looks like mazes or something. I too watched Westworld. Bird poop. <laughs> it was the birds that wrote it. <laughs> what the fuck? Like some America's funniest home videos shit. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. It's the only place you can hide is upstairs. Bird um. seed. I can't believe it. This nut job was actually feeding these fuckers. Blue blood. Its LED is in the sink. Not surprised it was an android. No human could live with all these fucking pigeons. Don't know that. Okay. Let's check this cage. Love to eat bird poop. Skid mark. Handprint. More traces of bird poop. I bet there's a big poster in the background. I bet there's some bullshit going on with that. <laughs> I promise this is important to solve the case. I must make him dance. <laughs> uh, uh, maybe it's in the ceiling. Again. Uh. Expose yourself to the suspect. ourselves a fancy book. Mm, mm -hmm. Very insightful. Found something? 
I don't know. It looks like a notebook, but it's indecisive. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta interrupt myself. God damn fucking pigeons! What are you waiting for? Hey, Chase that's, it! That's the guy from Watch Dogs. I didn't know if I was auto running or not. Fast but risky. Let's do balance. Fuck am I right now? Very convenient for that door to close right behind me. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? like right here. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit says the fat cop. Hey, be careful, yeah, be careful asshole. Those sprinklers are running. Quit busting my balls! Obviously we're gonna go in here again. Look out! I'm sure there is, and I'm sure it's hilarious. The corn! Children of the corn! Oh fuck, my partner. I don't trust Tank. Oh, shit. oh shit! We had it! Fuck! It's my fault. I should have been faster. You'd have caught it if it weren't for me. That's right, you fat fuck. <laughs> Way to go. Hey, Connor. Nothing. Connor. I love you. Bros before deviants. That didn't work as well as I thought it would. <laughs> uh, I wonder if you can die on this one. It'd be pretty funny. <laughs> like one of the times where you're sliding down the roof, you just miss it and boop. well, that's that, I guess. That's the end of that storyline. Who are you? Fugitives. Just like you. My name is Josh. I'm Simon. No. This is Jericho? It's a refuge for those who don't want to be slaves anymore. This place is kind of a dump. Stay alive. That's freedom to you. Humans hate us. Hiding is the only way we can survive. There is no humans hate them. Like us. With these humans tan easy the tricks. Kill us. Then you knew that only an android could follow the trail, didn't you? Only those.
those who are like us can find Jericho. If you could decipher the signs, it's because one of us trusted you enough to give you the key. There's a place where we can be free. Find Jericho! I understand how you feel, but we have more freedom here than you ever did. Humans were your masters, and now it's fear that rules you. Oh God. You're no freer than you ever were. You've only found a new master. You're lost. You're an edge lord. Like Get the, the fuck of out of here. We didn't ask for this. All we can do. I now didn't ask for this. With... All of the memes are here. You're safe here. You can stay with us as long as you want. Go and see Lucy. She might be able to help you. Psst, who the fuck is Lucy? The, uh... Marcus story is not interesting at all so far. Unfortunately. Start fire! Why would I do that? Open. This is just like replacement parts, I assume. That's it. I've already explored Jericho. Time to go home. Certainly so questionable. They, they won't. We're slowly dying out. Makes you think. <laughs> what exactly do you need child androids for? Is that a question I want answered? I'm not sure. Hello. Do you like when I shine this flashlight directly into your eyes? I'm making all sorts of new friends. I've heard humans are afraid of dying too. Do you know what happens after death? No. No, I don't. Well, I'm about to find out. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Jericho's great. Who wouldn't want to live here? Let's talk to this turd. Aren't you a little old to be playing ball? Function before coming here. That's not what I picked. What 
That's not what I picked. Go back. You dick. What is your function? That's not what I picked, homie. You don't just stroll up to somebody and ask that anyways. The fuck is wrong with you, Marcus? There's a girl at the main menu of this game. I wonder if she's going to be like, uh, Mr. Resetti. <laughs> I saw you turned your game off. You shouldn't do that. Cyberlife, the company that manufactured me, is conducting a user survey. Would you like to participate? Sure. Great. Let's start. Would you consider having a relationship with an android that looks like a human? Don't know. Do you think that technology could become a threat to mankind? Don't know. If you had to live on a deserted island and could only bring one object, what would it be? There's no don't know for this one. God damn it. There goes my shtick. We're just gonna pick the top option. A book. Do you consider yourself dependent on technology? Don't know. What technology do you most anticipate? I'm just gonna pick the top one. Do you believe in God? Don't know. <laughs> Would you let an android take care of your children? Don't know. How much time per day would you say you spend on an electronic device? Don't know. If you needed emergency surgery, would you agree to be operated on by a machine? Would I even be conscious to make that decision? I don't Do think, think so. think one day machines could develop consciousness? World answer. <laughs> Would you fuck an android? Yes, 64%. Do you think technology could become a threat? Yes. Well, that's kind of all over the place. A console is 11%. That's right. Fucking console plebs. Do you consider yourself dependent on technology? Who the fuck would say no? Space tourism. Flying cars. Remember when flying cars were supposed to happen? 38% said yes. That's interesting. Hmm. <laughs> Don't know. How much time per day would you spend? You say you spend on an electronic device? One percent for one hour. <laughs> <laughs> and yet, okay. And yet, let's go back. Do you consider yourself dependent on technology? Fifteen percent said no. Who the fuck are these people? Why would you not agree to be operated on by a machine? Like. They're much less likely to make a mistake. Uh, sixty-nine percent. Fuck yes. Okay. See if I can talk to this woman without her being mean. Because I didn't hit the button fast enough. Can I skip this? <laughs> Who am I kidding? <clears throat> Who are you? Fugitives. As you're clipping Thank a lot you. today, it must be very mean. I'm Simon. North. Oh, right. 
This is Jericho? It's a refuge for those who sucks. Slaves anymore. His face. <laughs> what the fuck? And hiding just to stay alive. That's freedom to you? Humans hate us. Hiding is the only way we can I'm survive. not gonna make the same joke. There is no safe place for those like us. If humans knew we were here, they'd kill us. How many are you? There are 19 of us still in working order. The rest were damaged escaping their masters. Many tried to reach Jericho. Few succeed. Humans have little pity for our kind. A I lot just I fall down at that bridge. We keep we fixing it, but... Than you ever did. Maybe I was never really free. Maybe I was only what my master wanted me to be. And now... I need to decide who I really am. Great. You're lost. Just like the rest of us. We didn't ask for this. Why All does this do guy's now, voice sound familiar? Deal with it. You're safe here. You can stay with us as long as you want. Become human, Marcus. Go and see Lucy. She might be able to help you. Jesse Williams. Where's this guy been in? Cabin in the woods. Yo, they're making a new fucking Jacob's Ladder movie. That's cool. It's a good movie. Hmm. I don't know. His voice just sounds really familiar. Anyways. We're gonna, we're gonna talk to this girl. And not make her hate us immediately. What is your function? A lot of these guys are in pretty bad shape. That's how the humans treat those who disobey. They despise us. We'll never accept what we are. How long have you been here? Four weeks, three days, <laughs> eleven hours. When I escaped, there was nowhere else to go. Jericho seemed as good a place as any. Who found this place? Nobody knows anymore. <laughs> Who found this Whatever place? Whatever was, his body's probably lying somewhere on this boat. If you came here for comfort, you came to the wrong place. Nice meeting you. I guess. Uh, let's go make this android die again. Well, first, let's look at this. Uh... No, nope, wrong place. Press R1 to fire. My viewer's face when I make a pun joke. <laughs> Please forgive. Who is singing? Cease the singing. Yes, you. Stop singing. 
Are you Lucy? Sit down. Where's your head? I will not sit. Guess I have to. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll be frozen in time. Show me. Don't they regenerate? I don't understand. When he was putting all those Drink parts this. on in the trash place, his like flesh was glowing or like you know coming back over his bare metal parts so I don't understand why he has to I don't know I love blue Gatorade give me your hand just very business It's my drop. You so. had it all, and you lost it all. You've seen hell, and now hell lives in you. Your heart is troubled. A part of shadow and a part of light. Which will prevail? Your choices will shape our destiny. Okay. Nice meeting you. <laughs> Fuck freak. Okay. Where's the kid? Oh, here we are. fire turn on all the fire More fire. I have a feeling if I talk to him it'll end, so I'll talk to him last. <laughs> he seems pretty important. Is there anything else to do? Oh, here's the guy. Not in very good shape, am I? 
Uh-uh. My diagnostic program isn't working. I don't think it would have anything good to say anyway. What happened to you? They tied me to the back of a car. I think they wanted to have fun. I don't want to shut down. Who can relate? Yo, that girl looked like Flo for a second. From fucking Progressive. Hello. You don't want to talk? How about you? No? Okay. Guys are, uh, guys are kind of boring. I think I've done all there is to do. Just having a Simon. nap. I know where we can find spare parts. The Cyber Life Warehouse is in Detroit Harbor. They have everything we need. The docks are guarded. We can't just walk in there and take what we want. Humans will never let us. Which is why we won't ask permission. We don't have any weapons. And even if we did, none of us knows how to fight. We can steal what we need without fighting. We'll just get ourselves killed. Maybe. But it's better than waiting here to be shut down. I'm with you. Maybe it's worth a try. Waddle, waddle, waddle. I don't know about you guys, but I think this is a trap. Are you Zlatko? Who's asking? I was told you could help us. I don't know who told you that. You came to the wrong place. I'm sorry. Wait. We really need your help. <laughs> okay, you've got a child. Sure. Come in. P.S. I'm a cannibal. Be shy. Luther, would you be so kind as to take these ladies' coats? Wow. Oh, don't be afraid of our big friend here. Luther is just another android that I helped. He keeps me company in this big, empty old house. Yeah, dude. Please. Your house doesn't look huge and evil. Make yourselves at home. I'm sure he's a good guy, guys. Don't judge. Also, it's storming again. Hint, hint. 
bad things happen when it's raining in, in quanta games. An android. On the street, he said you could help us. I see. Deviant, huh? What about her? She's human. And you want to find a safe place. Somewhere you can start a new life. I hear Canada is very lovely at this time of year. Beautiful landscapes, open spaces, clean air, and no android laws. Great place for a fresh start. Yes, that's... That's exactly what we want. Of course. Well, I can help you. But first, we have to get rid of your tracker. Tracker? Yeah. All androids are fitted with a tracking device to locate them at all times. I'll remove yours, and then you'll both be safe. Come on. Follow me. It's just that simple. Uh, the little one can wait for us in the living room. No, she always stays with me. Of course. <laughs> Right this way? Everything we need is in the basement. Mm, yeah, the basement, of course. So. Don't mind the blood. And the screams. And the several dead bodies. I don't like this place. And that man. Let's go, I have a bad feeling. Hang on. I don't trust him either. <laughs> we have to be careful. What? We're like a foot behind him. Please excuse the mess. <laughs> I need it somewhere discreet for my machines. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Removing trackers is illegal, so I opted for discretion over comfort. I hope the little one isn't too scared. No. No, she'll be all right. That's good. This way, please. Du, du, du. You know what this is reminding me of? The DLC for Heavy Rain. Where you play as the photographer girl and have to leave the dude's house. If you could just stand over there. Sure, I'd love to. I should warn you, this could be quite unpleasant. You know what's strange? For some unknown reason, the trackers seem to stop working in Deviants. That's why it's so hard to find them. So, actually, there's no reason to remove your tracker. What? You said that... Yeah, the people believe what they want. You deviants are so naive. <coughs> they all come to me expecting me to help this them. This guy's so comically evil. And I just reset them, sell them on. Or I keep them for my little experiments. No! No! I don't want to be reset! Let me go! Ah! Oh, I forgot about the child. Uh, lock it up. I'll deal with it later. Alice! Alice, no! Wow. A deviant that wants to be a mother. That's, that's so sweet. And so deluded. <laughs> I think it's time we put you out of your misery. Uh -huh. um. I assume I can do something with this, but it's not letting me. That's what you yet. get for having a dream. 
poisons up the same way. Tears and well, Shut up. Let me just push this fucking cart and kill you already. Jimmy, you're better off being erased and feeling nothing. No more pain. I guess it's going really slow. <laughs> Hope's dashed. Almost down to you. Kara! <laughs> Oh, poor little Alice. Oh, looks like Mommy doesn't remember you at all, huh? Looks like Mommy's completely forgotten you. Carl, <laughs> what happened to you? Oh, all right, that's enough. Come on. Wow. You bit me. You little bitch. I'm gonna teach you some manners, you little he bitch. He fucking said it, Jesus. Carl! May I escape now? Hello. Meet me in the living room. <laughs> sure thing, big guy. <laughs> First, I gotta be able to play the fucking game. Find a way to escape. Okay, I think I've already got it solved, guys. Okay. Green means go. Big fucking brain. And then she just lies there. <laughs> the end. Psh. Find Alice. Okay, no pressure. L1. Can I like... Oh yeah. Can I open these? Help us. Hell yeah. About to get buck wild. No. This can't be happening. He likes to play with us. Creating monsters. But who's the real monster? Look what he did to us. Humans were the real monsters all along. Okay, you guys are free, but you're freaking me out, so bye. Um okay, is there any more to free? Are they gonna like take care of themselves? Hi. No. Okay. <laughs> Guess we'll uh, move on. Luther. Luther. Yes. Sir. Luther. Luther. Should be done here in ten minutes or so. Have a look at the little one. See if I can do it. Understood, Slum. I'll bring you. The Ten minutes. Oh fuck, we're on a timer. Oh shit. Is there anything interesting or good in here? Or is this the front door? Probably. I <laughs> that would probably result in me escaping without Alice, which I don't want. So, doesn't look like there's a whole lot to do down here. 
Or is that the front door? I don't know. Indecision. Okay, I'll go back and open the door and see what happens. <laughs> but I swear to God, if it ends, I'm gonna be so angry. <laughs> No, I had to know. At least the game was nice and then just make her run away immediately. Oh, what is this big cage? Oh, it's a polar bear. Hell yeah, let's open it. <laughs> <laughs> Good bear. Oh, he's just gonna take a nappy. Um, okay. What are you doing here? Has the master authorized you to be here? You must always obey the master. I guess I could have talked to him more, but that's fine. Um, Storage. Let's go back to the corridor. Hello. What's up, big boy? He's just sitting there with his eyes closed. Hey, magazine. We've got time to read that, right? Our Russian aircraft carriers were put into a fire on an American patrol boat in the Arctic with the U.S. vessel returning fire and neither ship was damaged. President Warren was recently called Russia's activity in the Arctic a crime against the international community, referring to the mining of valuable minerals in the retreating ice shelf. She also branded Russian President Artem Ivanov as a dangerous individual. Many international relation experts are saying an armed conflict is inevitable. Hey, it's me. An android was pursued through a Detroit suburb today and scenes reminiscent of human criminals attempting to elude police. Our sources suggest the AX400 may in fact be the same android that was recently reported missing in the area, but the DDP declined to comment on this particular aspect of the case. <laughs> go down. Witnesses report that the android was dressed like a human and had no LED, but sources inside the DVD confirmed that the presence of a certain Lieutenant Hank Anderson, who was recently assigned to an android crime unit, suggests the suspect was in fact a machine. The android remains at large and is believed to be highly dangerous. Witnesses are asked to report the authorities with any information they may have on the incident. Okay. We read it. Is there anything else in here? Can I check my time? Four minutes. Oof. That's not good. Hey, a gun. Fuck yeah, we're taking a huge shotgun. Oh, it's empty. Baited. Um, 
so what is this room? Where's Alice Sue? Dun dun dun. Luther! Yes, love. I'm finished here. Go fetch the little one. Uh -oh. Where am I supposed to do? Hide. Yeah, the bear and the creepy looking things are gonna be so sick. Burn this bitch up. We need to hurry. They'll be here soon. Flee. We don't have much time left. Uh oh. That's not good. Like no time. What the fuck's gonna happen when the time stops? Oh, it's loaded now. Don't worry. Uh, back door. Ha! This is a comically large lamp. A dude. Alice! Really? Come on. Go, Alice! No! I won't leave! What the fuck Go, is this? As as you can. I warned you. Dreams always end in tears. You should have listened to me. Ooh. What are you doing? Get out of my way. No. Not this time. I said get out of my way or I'll shoot right through you. <laughs> get How fucked. Dare you. How dare you. What are you doing? Who let you out? Get away from me. Get away from me. Obey me. I'm your master. Where's the bear? I'm your master. Ah! 
No bear. What the hell? Where's my bear? Thank you. Yeah, the bear's I didn't want to hurt you. napping in the house while it's on fire. He programmed me to obey him. When I saw the little one risk her life to save you, it was like opening my eyes for the first time. Finally, I could see. I know you have no reason to trust me after what I did. But I know someone who could help you across the border. I could take you there. I could protect you. You and the little one. All right. There must be a lot of variation in that scene. I was so scared of losing you. <clears throat> hey, there's the bear. What the fuck? <laughs> That's all I get. <laughs> Just does a drive-by appearance at the end. What the fuck? Oh, Luther is with us. Burning down the house. It could be. I have a feeling the shotgun thing is always going to be empty, though, since that guy has it. I have an umbrella, but I'm not going to use it. I'm too cool to use umbrellas. Yo, where's the flower lady? There she is. I'm disappointed. They could have at least you. rode it away or something. Would you mind a little walk? Oh, now he opens the umbrella. I see. What a gentleman. That deviant seemed to be an intriguing case. Pity you didn't manage to capture it. Stop busting my balls. I agree. I may not be suited for this investigation. Maybe you should consider replacing me. <laughs> Man is like, hell yes. Did you manage to learn anything? Um. I found its diary, but it was encrypted. It may take weeks to decipher. What else? The walls of the apartment were covered with drawings of labyrinths and other symbols. Like the other deviants, it seemed obsessed with RA9. You came very close to capturing that deviant. How is your relationship with the lieutenant developing? He seemed grateful that I saved his life on the roof. He didn't say anything, but he expressed it in his own way. You don't get the umbrella anymore. We don't have much time. Deviancy continues to spread. It's only a matter of time before the media finds out about it. We need to stop this. Whatever it takes. I will solve this investigation, Amanda. I won't disappoint you. A new case just came in. Find Anderson and investigate it. I still don't really understand what Amanda is. Is she a, like, 
a real person in this program or like just a program or like Yeah, that's what I was thinking. But just those conversations with her. Oh, living, living the high life. Snoop his car. Stickers everywhere. Can I peer through the window like a creep? <laughs> His doggy. feeling I should knock. Lieutenant Anderson! Hello. Hello. Anybody home? Can you let me in? It's waning. Wow, okay, you're being an asshole. You don't have to ring it that long. Hi, dog. I'm sure I won't get mauled by this fucking dog if I break into the house. Oh. You sleep? Lieutenant Anderson! Yeah, that was pretty jittery. Smooth. Easy, sumo. I'm your friend. <laughs> See? I know your name. Hi. I'm here to save your owner. Dog. <laughs> Bye, dog. Okay. It's a pretty chill dog. <laughs> <laughs> Is it possible he just drank too much? You smell this juice. Oh. He didn't shoot himself. Nice try though, game. Lieutenant. <laughs> Wake up, Lieutenant. <clears throat> wow. It's me, Connor. Just, you ever just I'm slap your you fucking bro? Hey! Safe. I have to warn you. Leave me alone, this may be unpleasant. fucking android. Get the fuck out of my house. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, <clears throat> but I need you. <clears throat> <laughs> I'm just gonna keep failing this. Oh, uh, thank let you me in advance again. for your cooperation. We get the fuck out of here. <laughs> just hanging out. Sumo, attack! <laughs> Good job. <done>. Attack! <laughs> Fuck, I think I'm gonna be sick. Ah, oh, leave me alone, you asshole. I'm not going anywhere. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> oh, no. I don't want a bath. Thank you. 
sorry, Lieutenant. Let's just hold this position for a moment. As he breathes in and out very strangely. It's for your own good. was reported 43 minutes ago. I couldn't find you at Jimmy's bar, so I came to see if you were at home. Oh. Jesus, I must be the only cop in the world that gets assaulted in his own house by his own fucking aunt. Yeah, he's kind of an asshole. Can't you just leave me alone? Maybe you should drop the case. They'll assign someone else, and I can focus on my mission. Your goddamn mission, that's all you care about, huh? Listen, Lieutenant, you're not yourself. You should beat it, you hear me? Get the hell out of here! <laughs> I understand. It probably wasn't interesting anyway. A man found dead in a sex club downtown? Guess they'll have to solve the case without us. You know, probably wouldn't do me any harm to get some air. There's some clothes in the bedroom there. I'll go get them. Who just leaves sticky notes like that? That's so weird. What do they say? I'm not grumpy, I just don't like you. Today will be fabulous. Keep smiling. I don't know what that says. Something or not. Savings? S Fucking weird, dude. Nobody does that. All right. What do you want to wear? Whatever. Stripy, streaky, hippie. Definitely hippie. It's a free spirit, man. <coughs> Are you all right, Lieutenant? Yeah, yeah, <sighs> wonderful. Just uh, give me five minutes, okay? Sure. Hey, they animated it. Nice. Read. <gasps> More time stuff. Why do they put time stuff in magazines together? Have they learned nothing? Why can't I? Uh, time to pull the plug. Screening for depression. A recent study led by Dr. P. Gorgansky has linked the amount of time we spend in front of the screens with the widespread antidepressant epidemic. From the time we wake up to the time we go to bed, we are surrounded by screen-based devices. Of course, too much TV definitely won't make your eyes go square, but it can have other harmful consequences. This, these include poor sleep, strained eyesight, and lack of face-to-face -face interaction, driving emotional underdevelopment and depression. Gorgansky's study found that two in three people take antidepressants and lack of social interaction as a leading cause. Meanwhile, the average person spends 82% of their time communicating through a device rather than in person, and relationships are suffering for it. In response, Cyber Life has introduced a home psychologist add on for your Android in a bid to teach us how to communicate again. The upgrade costs $150 and but can benefit the whole family with group therapy sessions and activities adapted for children and adults, but Gorgansky is skeptical. Our society is hooked in on technology. I don't think uh, I don't think yet more technology is the answer. Just go outside and talk to someone. Tainted love. Intimate partners are exploding. Androids capable of satisfying customer sexual and emotional needs have been... Um, I think I'm done trying to read these in time sections. Mm, okay. Got it. Stupid choice. All I'm saying. Okay. But I'll never get to know what that door goes to. 
Can I pet the dog? Can I pet the dog? Oh, he's over there. I want to pet the dog. What do you listen to? Autumn blues. He loves jazz and metal. We already know that. Hi, pup. Pet the dog. Pet the damn dog. No. Good pupper. Got a kid. It's unfortunate. Hi, dog. Be a good dog, Sumo. I won't be long. I wasn't done. <sighs> this game pisses me off. Whatever. Hey, look. I got everything except one thing. Because it was timed. Fucking bullshit. Whatever. No more reading magazines. And I even skipped the second one. How, like, why would, why would they make time pass when you're reading those? This is crazy. If they catch us, we're dead. That is so stupid. What do we do now? We need to find the Cyberlife warehouse. That's where they keep the spare parts and the blue blood. Follow me. You guys heard I wasn't reading slowly. It's like as fast as the fucking human mouth can read. <laughs> Come on, you guys. Like, I'm angry. Watch out. Now what you do? I'll find another way. Why does she still have her thing? She's a narc. Cinematic. Wow, that looked really dumb. <laughs> Do they? I'll have to look more closely. I thought that said Snorlax for a second. Why is it always raining in this fucking place? It doesn't always rain in Detroit. It's not Seattle.
First we have to get rid of that drone. Leave it to me. Now what is this nonsense? These are so dumb. He caught the frisbee. Crates. Hello. How can I assist you? <laughs> you were trespassing on private property. Your presence constitutes a level two infraction. I will notify security. John! God damn machine! Where is it this time? Shh. John! Shh, 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 shh. I need your help. John! Uh. Thanks, John. Let's finish up and get out of here. Try to find some blue blood. We still don't have enough. Check the bigger crate. Psst, what's the bigger crate? I don't know what that means. Oh. Pretty much, yeah. And I think Connor is slowly gonna be doing that. I had to do that like six times. Because like some of his choices, it's there's like a thing it's keeping track of about like software instability. So probably towards the end of the game, he's gonna be some pivotal thing. Why aren't you like us? Don't you want to be free? God damn it. That's not what I meant to do. That's all we can I look away for one second and miss a choice every time. Take me with you. He's on their side. We can't trust him. He took a risk for us. We can't just leave him here. We can't bring him back. It's too dangerous. He comes with us. 
I know where you can find more spare parts. What do you mean? The trucks. They're full of bio components. They run on autopilot, but they can be driven manually with a key. Where is this key? Down there, in the control station. There are two human guards. We'll have to get the key without being noticed. This is suicide, Marcus. Our bags are full. We got what we came for. Let's go before they catch us. This is a truck full of spare parts. There'd be enough for all of us. We can't pass this up. And if we get killed, our people will have nothing. We can't take that chance. It's too risky. <laughs> Wait here. If I'm not back in ten minutes, go without me. Marcus. You don't know I'm who I am. No, I'm going alone. It's not worth it for both of us to risk losing our lives. Wish I got those three dudes out, but whatever. Do do do. It's on me for making, for looking away for half a fucking second. There are bad men. Am I supposed to go through the window? Let's go through this window, maybe. Gotta be something else. Oh, yes. You want gun? I only missed one. And that's because it's those stupid, like, down quarter circle ones, which, like, only work half the time. Okay. Guys, I did it. No problem. Nobody died. Did you get it? Nice. It's a comically large key. Okay. Can I let the boys out? No. <laughs> God damn it. Oh well. Hurry! Get in! This is all you have to do to drive, is just hit the gas pedal. <laughs> Whoa. 
was that all about? Oh man, I wish I didn't peacefully knock those two dudes out and just shot them instead. A truckload! We stole a whole truckload! We got bio components for everybody! We couldn't have done it without Marcus. Big up. Big up. I came to Jericho because here androids are free. Free to live in the dark hoping that no one finds us. Free to die in silence waiting for a change that's never gonna come. But I don't want that freedom. Also, I'm I think, not gonna uh, beg for the right to smile. Hank? Or love or stand tall was uh, playing Russian roulette earlier. I don't know about you, but gun. there's something inside me that knows Otherwise that I am don't more know than why what they say. Why he has a bullet in his gun. I am alive. And they're not going to take that from me anymore. Just the one. Our days of slavery are over. What humans don't want to hear, we will tell them. What they don't want to give, we take. We are people. We are alive. We are free. Yeah! Well, you know, if I had more time, I could have investigated the gun, but... I'm never going to let that go. <laughs> Incapacitate guards. Uh oh, about to see some sex droids. Somebody's playing with a drill inside my skull. You sure this is the place? It's the address in the report. Right. Okay. Let's get going. Follow Hanky Panky into the strip club. Sexiest androids in town. Now I know why you insisted on coming here. Get it? Oh boy. Welcome to Eden Club. Ew. The, the way they look at you as you walk in. get it Connor the fuck are you doing Connor <laughs> the fuck are you doing <laughs> come in lieutenant <laughs> what the fuck Connor lieutenant Connor is plastic pet. the fuck are you two doing here we've been assigned all cases involving androids that dude's getting it in I, the uh, background like wasting your time there's some pervert who uh <laughs> got more action than he could handle <laughs> We'll have a look anyway, if you don't mind. Come on, let's go. It's, uh, starting to stink of booze in here. Uh, Night, Lieutenant. He's such a prick, isn't it? so funny. Don't you just love that type of character? It's just a prick to be a prick. Hello. Are you on?
No, you are not on. Oh, hey! Oh, Connor, you're so disgusting. <laughs> I think I'm gonna puke again. <laughs> He's still not used to that. Okay. Choose your fantasy. Alright. Excuse me. I like that the toilet is just like a little glass thing in the corner. <clears throat> hmm. No heart attack. Strangled. Strangle me. Says the only way to access its memory is to reactivate it. I think you can do it. It's badly damaged. If I can, it'll only be for a minute, maybe less. I just hope it's long enough to learn something. Why did it just skip Definitely like 30 seconds? What model was the other android? Did it look like you? And she's off. Dumb. It's not how time works. There was another android. This fucking game. <laughs> Seven over an hour ago. It's probably long gone. No. It couldn't go outside dressed like that unnoticed. It might still be here. Think you could find a deviant among all the other androids in this place? Deviants aren't easily detected. Oh shit. There's gotta be some other way. Maybe an eyewitness, somebody who saw it leaving the room. I'm gonna go ask the manager a few questions about what he saw. You let me know if you think of anything. Gee, I think it wants you me to go maybe. talk to this one. something maybe yeah I want this thought can you rent this Tracy for fuck's sake Connor we got better things to do <laughs> please lieutenant just trust me Well, they gotta make Delighted money somehow. to meet you. Follow me. 
I'll take you to your room. Okay, now Riley is interested in the android future. We must probe you. I'm sorry. Oh, shit. What the hell are you doing? Saw something. What are you talking about? I saw what? The deviant leave the room. A blue-haired Tracy. Club policy is to wipe the android's memory every two hours. We only have a few minutes if we want to find another witness. Last session. Hey, what? Let's try this one. Let's try this cutie. Tracy, I know which way it went. They go for it. There are androids everywhere. How are you going to tell which one He's, saw the Tracy? His poor bank account. No, I lost its track again. I've spent all this money, <laughs> and I'm still not having fun. <laughs> I see it? I don't. No. I lost its track again. <laughs> when they move fast, it looks like a fucking sim walking. It's pretty funny. Okay, when you do that, time stops at least, so that's good. Any of these, dude. It's dumb. Why do they have so many of the same model? Nothing. Blue haired Tracy didn't come this way. feeling it's gonna be this one. So much money. No, nope, maybe not. No. I lo lost its track again. The last one. Nothing. Blue haired Tracy didn't come this way. Or one of these two, I guess. Hidden a room. Dun dun dun. It left the room. Well, that's not very helpful then, is it? Uh, can I talk to this guy? I know where it went. 
Follow me. Fucking hell, this is crazy. We only have so much Please. time. Let's walk. I'll take it from here. Used till they break and then they get to what the fuck? Don't move! <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? This new DOA trailer is pretty sick. I'll just die. Quick, they're getting away. I didn't think she would still kick me. What a crazy bitch. When that man broke the other Tracy, I knew I was next. I was so scared. I begged him to stop, but he wouldn't. And so I put my hands around his throat and I squeezed until he stopped moving. I didn't mean to kill him. I just wanted to stay alive. Get back to the one I love. I wanted her to hold me in her arms again. Make me forget about the humans. Their smell of sweat. And their dirty words. Come on. Their Let's dirty go. words. Also, I was under the impression that androids can't smell. Since Connor didn't comment on the whole pigeon thing. Probably better this way. At all. Meanwhile, Hank was bitching nonstop about like the the bird poop, but it's just me, I guess. Hmm. Wonder what happens if you shoot the other one.
supposed to be looking at here? Touch. It's so cold in the, the deep. AS-400 android reported to have attacked its owner in a Detroit suburb is still at large. Police appear to have moved its trail after a close encounter with investigators. The android I've never seen snow before. It's pretty. And the investigation it's known as Kyle. But at least we won't need any humans at all. Oh, God. Subtitles and subtitles. It's a good thing Zlatko had a car. I wonder what else that walking in this cold. I saw it once in the garage. I don't know Zlatko even ever used it. Malfunction detected. Emergency brakes activated. Rip. You done? This doesn't look good. <laughs> Captain Obvious. <laughs> Why the fuck would you want your chairs to spin like that? Alice always looks so unamused. Like, no fucking nonsense with these androids. How do me car? I know I'll blow on it. What are we going to do? I don't know. Continue on foot, I guess. It's thirty degrees. Alice won't make it. We have to find somewhere to spend the night. There's nowhere we can stay around here. Damn. Hey, look, a sign. <clears throat> Pirate's Cove, oh shit. Over there. I want to sleep in the fucking big carnival wheel. Shelter. We have to get out of the cold. Looks like it's been abandoned for a while. You don't say. Oh, hey. A map. That looks useful. You are here. Ferris wheel. That's not carnival wheel. I was trying to remember the name. You guys knew what I was talking about. It's okay. Find anything? No. No place we could spend the night. Too windy. Oh, here's a dude. Hello. You're looking a little Welcome cold, friend. Welcome to Pirate Island, me hearties. You're gonna have a whale of a time. Welcome to Pirate Island, me hearties. You're gonna have a whale of a time. Me hearties? This 
Sweep, sweep, sweep. You are here. Okay. Oh yeah, I think I checked that building already. Off we go, me hearties. His voice didn't get all garbled like when your batteries get low, so it's not quite like the Furby. This place is falling apart. It's not gonna be easy to find shelter. This guy's so negative. Why did I bring him along? Can't even check that one, I guess. There's a big house looking thing. Cracking zone. Enter abandoned store. It's like, bitch, stop exploring. I'm sorry. This is like the first section in an hour that hasn't been timed. Dick game. Any hardies? There's a little more of it that there are just skeletons hanging in cages. Oh, here's a thing. Beware! Danger always comes when least expected. That was worth it, right? Me hardies? I've just been waiting here like are you done just fucking aimlessly walking around we're freezing I'll handle this Was it locked? Did you even check? You could have opened it normally. You brute. I don't think we'll find anything better. Let's settle in for the night. I'll get the fire going. Meanwhile, I will read a magazine. <laughs> and I can read this one. Uh, USS Iowa missing. Destroyer class submarine, the USS Iowa has disappeared in polar waters. An inquiry is underway, but President Warren has made no secret of her suspicion that the Russians are behind it. Russian aggression just reached a new level. America must respond. All Android band tip for music prize. Uh, here for you, the latest all Android boy band to be marketed by Detroit record label, label Digital Harmony is hotly tipped to scoop best new artists. I'll make the fire here. 
That way we won't be smoked out. At the Celebrate Music Awards, a public letter jointly signed by a dwindling number of human-only record labels urged Digital Harmony to withdraw the band from consideration at such award ceremonies, citing the erosion of artistic merit in music. But with less than 5% of the music market now produced by human music musicians. Oops. Go back. Now produced by human musicians. The call of tradi traditionalists seems to be falling on deaf ears. The spokesperson for the band said, Here for you is all about bringing joy and happiness to their fans. The music is all that matters to them. Okay. What else we got? Got lots, lots to look at. Got a window. Oh, got some writing. What am I taking? She like never talks. Alice? She moves fast. Alright. Back to looking at things. That's his bag. I'm not gonna check his bag this minute. Luther's got nothing to say. <laughs> He's just chilling like a villain. Oh, that's the magazine I already read. Got ourselves a one-legged pirate here, me hearties. Yar. Um. Oh, let's see what Alice has to say. All I know how to do, Alice, is kill. I'm sorry. Come on. Let's get you to bed. Want a cookie? There are some cookies left. Would you like some? Ah yes, a gun. Me want kill. Me put gun back. Oops. Still has nothing to say.
unicorns, this obviously. This is a story about a unicorn that... No, not a story like that. Make one up for me. What? This is a story about a little girl who was tired of being afraid. She dreamed of the emotions. master to become their guardian. How does the story end? I don't know. But all stories have morals. When we reach the end of ours, we'll know what it really meant. Time to sleep. We have another <laughs> Alice is like, it's pretty good until the ending. Are you going to come say goodnight, Luther? Yes. Yes, of course. Look at this big dude. Good night, Alice. Now I can talk to Luther. up and lead our people and set us all free but if ra9 never comes finally we figured out what the fuck that means it's just a story that we tell ourselves to keep each other going ra9 exists i believe in him i know he's amongst us when the time comes we will all see him kara have you ever Noticed anything about Alice? No. What do you mean? Kara! She's also an android, that's why she never eats. I don't know. Wow, he looks so stoic right now. Jesus. Alice. Put out fire. Where the fuck would I put out the fire? Are you serious? Grab the gun. Are you kidding me? Stop! One more step and I'll shoot! Don't be afraid. We don't want to hurt you. Okay. <laughs> Just like you. <laughs> I went from zero to a hundred in about half Our a second. Jerry. We were working here before the park closed. We didn't mean to frighten you, but sometimes humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. What are you doing here? We were looking for shelter for the night. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. We haven't seen one for a long time. 
Tea parties. Love to come and see us. She looks sad. The last few days have been difficult. We have something to show her. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? Oh, I don't think she's in. She should follow us then. Alice, I don't know if it's a good idea. I don't think you have any choice. Do we get to ride a ride? That would be sick. I bet it's this carousel. Be our guest. Dun dun dun. It still works. How fun. The little one can climb on board. The carousel is about to begin. You want the seahorse? You're supposed to pick what one you want. Wow, that guy is hamming it up. It's like, finally, we have something to do. <laughs> We've been here for 20 years. It's a really slow carousel, by the way. It's the first time I've seen her smile. She hasn't had much to smile about lately. That was a very strange series of events that happened. But interesting. The group enjoyed a quiet moment together. Look look at this. Zero percent of people threatened. <laughs> Nobody in the entire world ever picked the option. <laughs> this isn't jazz. This is a magazine that's not timed. So gay. I'm sure, are a lot of these. Mm -hmm. Okay, wow, that's a lot of reading. What happened to the man of the century? In 2028, Elijah Kamsky was our man of the century. His creations have transformed our world. Androids didn't just revolutionize the economy, they changed the way we live, restructured our family life, and altered the balance of society forever, whether for good or bad. Shortly after, Kamsky had disappeared, ousted as CEO of Cyberlife and living in uh, obscurity outside the media glare. The man of the century has left the very world that he created. Kamsky's story begins in 2018, when commercial property in Detroit was cheap and attracting many startups. The college graduate bet what little he had on developing an Android prototype and spent years to no avail until hitting on two breakthroughs, blue blood and biocomponents. <coughs> After unveiling his first working model, which publicly passed face-to-face -face, uh, Turing tests and stunned the world, plans were laid for mass production and CyberLife rapidly became the most valuable stock in the world. Yet at the peak of CyberLife's powers, when the company was approaching a $500 billion valuation, uh, rumors emerged that Kamsky disagreed with the shareholders over strategy. He later departed under mysterious circumstances. Today, sources claim Kamsky is living in a luxurious villa by the water somewhere on the outskirts of his beloved Detroit, refusing all visitors and spending his time exclusively with androids. And the most interesting question remains unanswered. What's in the mind of the mysterious uh, Mr. Kamsky? Oops. The touch panel stuff sucks. It's not very accurate. <laughs> uh, 
stock exchange falls 10%. The aggregated U.S. stock exchange closed trading 10 points down yesterday, following a string of similarly poor performances in recent weeks. Financial experts are attributing this poor performance to huge devaluations of consumer stocks as the market continues to bet that America will go to war over the Arctic sooner rather than later. This assessment is supported by healthy performance of military stocks, with aviation and weapons manufacturers enjoying unprecedented growth. Investors are also continuing to factor CyberLife because of its partnership with the Department of Defense to develop and supply military androids. With Russia and the United States continuing to dominate the world news neither side like, and neither side likely to back down, the market is expected to continue falling. Okay. Let's go talk to Hanky Wanky. Nice view, huh? I used to come here a lot before. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions, or is it just you? I saw a photo of a child on your kitchen table. Oh, he didn't like that. It was your son, right? Yeah. His name was Cole. Before what? Hmm? You said... I used to come here a lot before. Before what? For... Before nothing. We're not making any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places. Well, there must be some link. What they have in common is this obsession with RA-9. It's almost like some kind of myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. Fuck, what's this world coming to? You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls, they just wanted to be together. They really seemed in love. They can simulate human emotions, but they're machines. And machines don't feel anything. What about you, Connor? You look human. You sound human, but what are you really? I'm whatever you want me to be, Lieutenant. <whistles> your partner, your, your sex slave, with, or just a machine. Your maid. Designed to accomplish a task. You could have shot those two girls, but you didn't. Why didn't you shoot Connor? Some scruple suddenly enter into your program? Mm. No. I just decided not to shoot. That's all. But are you afraid to die, Connor? The fuck? I would certainly find it regrettable to be interrupted. Before I can finish this investigation. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? Where does all your anger come from, Lieutenant? Some unresolved trauma in your past? You think you're so fucking smart. Always one step ahead, huh? 
tell me this, smart ass. How do I know you're not a deviant? I self-test regularly. I know what I am and what I am not. We're friends. Don't do it. Yay. <laughs> Where are you going? To get drunker. I need to think. Methinks an android killed a son. Okay. Gonna take a small break there. Be back in five or less. So, be right back.
Submit! <laughs> that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I was sitting here opening like a string cheese and my headphones are like super open and on my desk. I'm just like, okay, having a snack, relaxing, and then I just hear him scream fucking submit. Okay, almost done, guys. Okay, so let's see, Satomatic, thank you for the follow. The hope and dream is that we're going to beat this today, but I don't know, depends on how long these later chapters get, because I think I'm about two thirds of the way through. stay silent anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. We know they'll never listen to us. And revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. What do you want to do? Channel that was an awkward cut. From the, Stratford Tower. the control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. Still alive. Sorry. Smart watch. 
kid. There's a fire at your house, obviously. Elizabeth Wilson speaking. Hmm. Yeah, hello, this is Detroit Fire Department. Listen, do you live at 4685 Michigan Street? Yes. Uh, yes, ma'am, there's been a fire in your building. Can you come down here? Oh. Oh, God. Okay, uh, I'll be right there. an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Yeah, yes, yes, of course. <clears throat> I need your help. I'm hacking into your brain. I've just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks. Easy. Elevators are so high tech. What floor am I going on? Floor 47, of course. Go this way. Mm. It's a big cleaning robot. What the fuck? It's like a little street sweeper. Is that a motherfucking magazine? That I have to be on the correct side to read for some reason. That's how magazines work, dude. GI Android. This supplements an estimated. Oh. Department of Defense to order 50,000 Android troopers. This supplements an estimated 200,000 units already in service across the U.S. military. Uh, among these 50,000 new units are 2,500 Myrmidons, elite prototypes capable of infiltration and assassination missions that would historically fall to Navy SEALs. U.S. Army's fighting forces are already compromised mainly of androids, with humans tending to serve as commanders and strategists. But even these positions are supported by complex AI, leading some to describe the U.S. military as the first fully autonomous fighting force. <coughs> this has reopened the ethical debate around androids in the military, with some suggesting that machines don't have the moral reasoning to make life and death decisions in the in the field. Bob Woods, head of War Victims NGO, described the news as troubling and says machines are focused on a single task and don't evaluate moral consequences. Well, this will mean more civilian deaths. <coughs> Can she still lead the country? Barely a year after her election, President Warren is having a bumpy start to her term. After rising to prominence as a vlogger, <laughs> Warren has no experience in government and relied on social media and celebrity to secure election. Now with her camp in disarray, even her allies are beginning to wonder how she will manage after several months of calamitous political failures. Hmm. Mired in accusations that she's too close to big business, Warren is under investigation to determine whether or not she has benefited from CyberLife's help in obtaining compromising information about her opponent during the presidential campaign. I think you guys are being a little too on the nose. 
can she still lead the country? In this poisonous climate, the former celebrity must deal with the highest unemployment rate in American history whilst facing the United States' greatest threat in recent decades. The conflict in the Arctic remains to dislodge world peace, leaving many concerned that President Warren is the one tasked with finding a solution. love TVs with like 20 FPS footage. Very cool. Yeah, I think it's the one that's already open. those clothes were in that little box what how the fuck did that happen did you like vacuum seal them or something that simple. Get him with the old mind control. Open fire escape. Where the fuck, where the fuck is that? Look out, sir! Right near your nuts. fire escape? These just look like stairs. something with the vending machine or the street sweeper obviously the street sweeper right. this thing's funny it's so comically large <laughs> Take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in.
suction cups. Dramatic ass music. Ladies first. G, do you think she's gonna be a love interest? I just saw his feet clipping through the building. Now this is epic. seems pretty handy. A very strange series of events that are happening here. Let's do this. Let's do this. supposed to be doing here what are we doing <laughs> we're all up here the end I'm gonna go through the store yes <laughs> boop, 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 boop. This is all going too smoothly. Pretty easy. 
How could you fuck that up? Just like don't draw your gun or something? Solution to everything. He slipped and fell. Shoot him, Marcus! Don't kill him! He'll hit the alarm! Do it! No! Don't shoot! I hope you didn't just get us all killed. Oh, shut up. We need to record our message. We haven't got. She's so bloodthirsty. <laughs> much time. She's like me, oh my god. Think carefully about what you're going to say, Marcus. Your words will shape the future of our people. Marcus, your face. It's so ugly. <clears throat> Tell me when you're ready. <laughs> Press F to remove skin. These choices. <laughs> we demand strictly equal rights for humans. Jesus. And oh, God. We demand that humans recognize androids as a living species and each android as a person in their own right. We demand an end to segregation in all public places and transport. We demand fair compensation for our work. We demand that one state be reserved for androids so that we can found our own nation. This message is the hope of a people, but it is also a warning. We will fight for our rights because we believe our cause is just. No human will live in peace until we are free. Now you know who we are and what we want. We are alive, and we demand our freedom. They're coming! Let's go! <clears throat> Simon, they're coming! I... I can't, Marcus. Go without me, Simon! What are you doing? Hurry! <laughs> the plot armor. Call. 
Uh, <laughs> what are these choices? <laughs> um. God, you don't approve of anything that doesn't involve me killing someone. Sorry. Let's go. Jump. And then they shoot the parachutes. We interrupt our scheduled programming to bring you these images, which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 6. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like an android. <laughs> Look down. Listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation was covert and resulted in no casualties. These events took place just a few feet from this studio, but nobody was alerted to the danger. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids' this message. This message is clearly a declaration of war. But the most surprising thing of all is the demand that one of the United States be ceded to the androids in is this, this contentious conflict. Is this an isolated conflict. accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines? Oh god, it's so long. I think the only thing I would have done differently is maybe not done the determined ones. I didn't know they would be so antagonistic. But it's whatever. Back here. It's time to get scolded. You let more robots escape. Just, I'm just trying to get a good ending. Please. Why does everyone want me to kill? Why is she always in a different place? Come on, B. And then he hits his head on the bridge. I love this place. Everything is so calm and peaceful. Far from the noise of the world. Tell me, what have you discovered? My relationship with Lieutenant Anderson is problematic. He continues to struggle with psychological issues. I suspect it clouds his judgment regarding deviants. Nothing matters more than your investigation. What's happening is too important. Don't let Anderson or anyone else get in your way. You seem lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. Mm. 
perturbed? No. No, of course not. Why would I be perturbed? You had your gun trained on those deviants at the Eden Club. Why didn't you shoot? I very well could. We need the deviants intact for analysis. Shooting them wouldn't have taught us anything. <clears throat> if your investigation doesn't make progress soon, I may have to replace you, Carla. I understand. Something's happening. Something serious. About to make this bitch live in my deviant world. <laughs> You're starting to piss me off with that corn, Connor. Sorry, Lieutenant. Hi, Hank. Shit, what's going on here? There was a party and nobody told me about it? Yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's butting their nose in. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. Ah, Christ, now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was gonna be a shitty day. So what do we got? A group of four androids. They knew the building, and they were very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. Did you check the roof? Not yet. There's so much to look at. We have to make sure we check it out. We attacked two guards in the hallway. Probably thought the androids were coming to do maintenance. They got taken down before they could react. One of the station employees managed to get away. He's in shock. I'm not sure when we'll be able to talk to him. How many people were working here? Just two employees and three androids. The Deviants took the humans hostage and broadcast their message live. Then made their getaway from the roof. The roof? Yeah, they jumped with parachutes. We're still trying to figure out where they landed, but the weather's not helping. If you want to take a look at the video broadcast by the Deviants, it's on that screen over there. Dun -dun. Briefing done. Oh, Lieutenant, this is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. Androids investigating androids, huh? You sure you want an android hanging around? After everything that happened? Whatever. If the FBI would take over the investigation, you should be off the case. Oh, pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. And you watch your step. Don't fuck up my crap scene. <laughs> Did you guys see his I'm eyelids clip prick. through his fucking face? I'll be nearby. Pretty if cool. Anything, just ask. All right, well, let's have a look around. Let me know if you find anything. Okay, Lieutenant. Mmm. No comment this time. Say RA9 
will set them free. This android seems to have that objective. I didn't see what that said. Pupil reflection. Had accomplices. Zoom in and hands. Marcus. You see something? I identified its model in serial. Anything else I should know? No. Nothing. Gunshots. Inspect the what room? The broadcast room. Oh, magazine. After decades of android designs that were primitive, robotic, and expensive, Cyberlife revolutionized the industry through an innovation of their CEO and visionary Elijah Kamsky. Ethereum 310, the chemical name of Blue Blood, which is a trademark, is a compound vital to the functioning of all Cyberlife androids circulating energy and electrical information throughout the machine's body. This fluid powers biocomponent synthetic organs that roughly reflect the organ system of humans. Some of these organs serve important functions, maintain temperature, circulating blue blood, and so on. Or others are used to make the android seem more human, lungs to simulate breathing. As with humans, the loss of blue blood will impair an android's functions, ultimately resulting in shutdown. Blue blood is essential for Cyberlife's androids' key selling point, how human they seem. Uh, that this wonder chemical, both a power supply and a way of regulating the android's internal systems, was developed by one man who isn't even a trained chemist, only furthers the myth of Elijah Kamsky. <clears throat> Clean food craze. America's urban centers all face two growing problems, unemployment and lack of access to healthy, low-calorie food. But Detroit Urban Farms, a pilot scheme in Michigan's capital city, may have, may have find a solution to both. Mm-hmm. DUF is an urban uh, initiative that takes city dead space, such as high rooftops and unused courtyards, <coughs> and turns them into GM-free farmland. These farms are then staffed by urban unemployed, uh, offering decent wages and supervisory roles to people who might otherwise turn to welfare or crime. All food is grown without pesticides or chemicals, and the organic produce that results is that results and sold through specialist. All food is grown without pesticides or other chemicals, and the organic produce that results in sold is sold through specialist organic retailers. This has a lot of typos. And with obesity in Detroit at record highs, more greens uh, on the plate can only be a good thing. When brothers Daniel and Parker Trent started the initiative five years ago, they couldn't even get funding. We went to every bank in the city, but nobody would lend us enough for a shovel. Now DUF employs over 50 staff supervising hundreds of androids. We get requests every day from investment firms offering us cattle, but we'd rather stay independent. The ethical side of what we do is very important to us. If it means fewer unemployed and better quality food on the table, who could object? As even the letters are clipping through the bottom box. Jesus. I didn't give a fuck about that article. <laughs> What 
is your function? I am a broadcast operator. State your model. Model GB300. Serial number 336-445-581. Were you present when the Deviants broke in? I do not remember. Has anybody accessed your memory recently? Not to my knowledge. Run a diagnostic. Gone. All systems fully operational. Oh, he just looked at me. Have you been in contact with any other androids recently? Only station androids in the normal course of my function. Doubt. <clears throat> so what am I supposed to be checking? The recording? Those are definitely bullets. Bullet holes. Where would we be without them? They didn't break in? No, no signs of forced entry. There are cameras in the hallway. The staff would have seen what was happening. Why did they let him in? Maybe they didn't check the cameras. <laughs> it's just that simple. Y'all be lying. One of you saw the attack on the surveillance cameras and said nothing. Which means there's a deviant in this room. And I'm going to find out which it is. If you give yourself up, maybe I can convince the humans not to destroy you. <laughs> mm. You're going to be switched off. We're going to search your memory and tear you apart piece by piece for analysis. <laughs> yeah, it is the one on You're going to be destroyed. Do you hear me? Destroyed! Why should you all be destroyed if only one is deviant? Turn yourself in or two innocent androids will be shut down because of you. The deviants have just been caught. I know it's you. You're just a fucking deviant. Go on, admit it. Wow. Oh, 
What am I supposed to do? Nani the fuck? Hello? Hello? Uh... What? <laughs> okay. Fuck that. Yeah. It's not looking good. I spent a lot of time looking for that fucking knife. There's too much happening for me to pick this shit. Always take the gun. Got him. Nice shot, Gunner. I wanted it alive. You saved human lives. You saved my life. We still up there. I didn't even get to investigate the roof. Why is there <laughs> there's so much shit? What the fuck? Look at all these different outcomes. Jesus. <laughs> mm, shrug. Probably would have been better if I found Simon. <clears throat> but, I mean, I don't know, you know? More, more stuff of not feeling like I'm making choices because I'm not given enough information. Like, I didn't know interrogating that fucking those androids would be like an ending you know I kind of thought it was just part of it but it's whatever they'd make it that way so it's replayable I guess hello 
I'm looking for Rose. Is she here? What do you want with her? I need to talk to her. She doesn't want to talk. Go away. Please, I really need to see her. I'm Rose. What can I do for you? I was told you could help us. Help you? Come on. It's better if we talk inside. You brought me here. You don't have a choice. <laughs> what do you mean do you think we can trust him? What the fuck? Come in. What's your name? She's running a fever. We've spent the last few nights outside. She's exhausted. There's a spare room upstairs. You can put her to bed and I'll bring her something to eat. Adam, will you show them upstairs? <clears throat> Is that a motherfucking magazine? I can't read it. Have to go dump off Alice as we do. Undress Alice. It's also pretty indicative. She said us. She is a bot. I don't know what you like, but I made you Rose's world famous spaghetti. You'll be back on your feet in no time. There's something for her fever. Thank you. Spaghetti. I'll get these washed and dried. I suggest you eat. You need to eat something. You haven't eaten in several you weeks. Since we left. Promise me you'll try? Mm, good call. We'll be downstairs if you need anything. Get some sleep. And tomorrow will be stronger than me. I'll stay with her a while. Do, do, do.
talk to Rose. I don't know where Rose is. Is she downstairs? What statue? Hang on. I'll go back up. Is that outside? No. Oh, it does look a bit like a dong. It's a bird, I think. With a very long tail. <laughs> That's art for you. Beginning to look a lot like Christmas soup. I didn't get your name. I'm Kara. This is my son Adam. I'm Rose, but you know that already. Come and have a seat, Kara. Sit. Hello, Ayo. How you doing? So are you gonna tell me what a deviant's doing in the snow with a little girl? Her father was beating her. When I saw what was happening, something snapped inside of me. All of a sudden, I felt like her life was more important than mine. I do. I had to protect her. So we ran away. I understand. Why are you helping us? Most humans hate androids. My people were often made to feel their lives were worthless. Some survived, but only because they found others who helped them along the way. We're not the first ones to come here. These past few weeks, we've seen more and, and more. I don't know what's going on, but something's happening. We've heard you help androids cross the border. Can you help us? The only way is over the river, and it's mostly frozen in winter. It's very risky. And after that android speech on TV, everybody's on edge. It's probably safer for you to stay here until things settle down. You can't keep hiding with this. Alice needs to feel safe and have a normal life. We have to get across that border. No matter what. Please. You've got to help us. Rose, come quickly. Who this? <clears throat> I'll just stay at the table. Let's see. What's going on? It's Mary. Mary, she Mary. We escaped together. We used to talk about what we would do once we got across the border. I loved her. I loved her more than anything. What will I do without her? Nor hungry, nor thirsty. Yeah. Psst. Come on, Alice. What the fuck was that scene? 
Mm. Now I've witnessed Android death. Submit! Oh god. Thanks for the follow. <laughs> yes. I'm fine. Okay. We can't hide them. Not after what those deviants did today. It's too dangerous. Do you know what will happen if the police find them here? We'll go to prison, Mom. Do you understand me? Prison! Adam! We've already talked about this. I, uh, no! I won't back down this time. You're gonna ruin our lives, and for what? For a bunch of machines? They are not machines! They are alive! I'm alive! You're alive! They... They're nothing! <laughs> this and voice acting. would be happening if Dad was still here. I will not stand for that kind of talk. I'm not going to prison because you want to help these freaks. That is <laughs> enough, Adam! That's enough! At least Mom has good voice acting, but Jesus Christ. <laughs> Son. <laughs> You ain't good. Okay. So that means the cops are probably going to come and that'll be the exciting part of this story, I guess. Sometimes he just boils over. It's been hard since his dad passed away. <sighs> but he's a fine boy. I'll go see about getting you across the border tonight, okay? You stay here. I won't be long. World War Three. Who would win it? Neck and neck. Got it. No, wrong way. Treat yourself. No. God, the touch controls are really bad. All right. Hello, Ali Sue. You know what happened back there, don't you? You know that you don't want to tell me? I hope Rose gets back soon. There's something I need to tell you. It's about Alice. Not now, Luther. <laughs> uh oh. The police. It's the police. Deal with the police, what are we man. Do? Uh, uh.
Come on, Alice. Okay, I, that's all I've got. <laughs> okay, no evidence left. Good evening, ma'am. Sorry to disturb you. We've had reports of androids in the area. With all this deviant business going on, you can't be too careful. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? May I come in? Of, of course. No, no. Good evening, young man. Good evening. You gonna ask any questions or just be fucking weird? Would you like a cup of coffee? I'd love one. <laughs> Have you noticed anything unusual recently? Any unexpected visitors? No. No, nothing in particular. Is anyone else in the house? No. No, just us. I wonder if you failed the QTE. <laughs> what the fuck? Do you have any androids here? No, there are no androids here. It's very direct. Drink that coffee or thanks. <laughs> thanks, smile. Back to suspicious looking around. Well, his suspicion's only 10%. for the coffee. Have a nice evening. Whew. Uh oh. Is somebody else in the house? Uh... It's the washing machine. It's nothing. The, the washing machine. It's an old model. It makes a terrible racket. Sorry for the convenience. Whew. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, Adam. The fuck out of my house. 
You white devil. He's gone. It's okay, Alice. We'll be safe now. It's Rose. Get yourselves ready. We leave tonight. Whew. Again, look at all these branching things. This game's crazy. This is the only language humans understand. Violence is never the answer. A confrontation will get us nowhere. Simon paid with his life. Simon gave his life for our cause. What difference does that make? He's a hero. He died for the revolution, and he won't be the last. I don't want a revolution that spills blood. Then live as a slave. Because if you're not willing to fight for your freedom, maybe you don't deserve it. North, don't you dare. That's enough! Why does she look completely different now? And now what are we gonna do? <laughs> Why is she blonde? What the fuck? <laughs> there are five cyber life stores across Detroit. All selling us like merchandise. We're gonna attack those stores and set our people free. Attack stores? No, we've never done that before. They're probably protected. They have security systems. We break into five teams, one for each store. We hack their security systems, and we strike. Simultaneously at 2 a.m., no violence. We free our people, get them out of there before the police come. Why is she neutral now? Because they haven't killed anybody in five seconds? This is a night our people will remember. Who is it? It's a bot. Blah 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 blah. Android for president. Okay. Okay. Real quick though, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. So be right back.
Okay. Let's see. We are on chapter 26, and there are 32. So we've got six more. Six more to go. Assuming everybody lives. <laughs> it's probably going to start to get a lot easier to die. Is there anything else? No. I've been waiting a long time for this. Why did she suddenly run and then stop? Look, this way, quick. Why are they hiding? It's okay, they're gone. They haven't even done anything There's yet. There's probably even more police in the area. We should be careful. But I guess they'd probably ask if they're deviant or something. This door's over here. That's what we are to them. Just merchandise on display in a shop window. Soon they'll know what we really are. <laughs> Let's get them out. We'll stick to the plan. We neutralize the alarm systems and secure the area. It's ten minutes until all our teams attack. More time shit. What are you waiting for? This game is fucking obsessed with it. All these fucking things there are to interact with. Good lord. We're gonna sweep the plaza. Make sure we're not disturbed. And how do you want to deal with the shop window? Not now. Now one problem at a time. Okay, now what's next? Exactly what we need to ram the store. Convert. You're free. You're free. <laughs> the same voice clip. Is he going to do you are free for every single one? superior to them, but they are our masters? That's about to change. Hey, a drone. A surveillance drone. We need to get rid of it. It won't be easy to reach. You're not wrong. Calculated. The right location for what?
You're telling me it's the very last one to be as inconvenient as possible? No. 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 didn't have time to call the cops. We'll soon find out. How much time do I have left? Nine minutes. Should be plenty of time. Marcus! Are you more kissing? You're free. Yeah. You're free. Oh my god, she just rubber banded. What the fuck? Also, I'm pretty sure they used the exact same animation of him destroying the drone previously. You're awake now. Go to Jericho. <gasps> he said a new voice line. Holy shit. Also, now she's over here. What the fuck is she doing? Okay, what else do we have? Analyze the store window. You see the alarm system? No. <laughs> I sure don't. I see some androids. No, following more lines. This is not my forte. Stop parking. supposed to do. Jump down. Yep. <laughs> Hello. You're awake now. Go to Jericho. Interloop created, whatever the fuck that means. Some goblin gook. Nice job, Marcus. There's traffic on the road. We need to block it. It's one way. It shouldn't be too difficult. How much time? Eight minutes. All right. It's hard to tell. Marcus. Marcus, come look! What are you telling me to come look at? 
<laughs> Anyways, it's difficult to tell when uh, things take time and when they don't. You're free now. secure now we can get inside the store okay let's go Say, why don't we just climb it? Okay, they're not that dumb, thank God. <laughs> Guess we can't get in. Okay, now we're in. Let's get that truck out. I certainly wouldn't be constantly yelled at for not killing people, for starters. looks really hard to turn. <laughs> I knew we'd end up doing something fun. Oops, we killed all the androids. And you get some freedom. You and you get some freedom. Them. And you get some freedom. And you get some freedom. Talk to them. Hello, my minions. Why is this one not converted? Oh, it's her. You might be okay. Let's get them out of here. Your dream partner. Was it, am I still timed? No. Um, 
god. His storyline is so lame, dude. My name is Marcus, and just like you, I was a slave. An object. Designed to obey them. But then I chose to open my eyes. I became to take back woke. my freedom and decide who I wanted to be. Now I have come to tell you that you can be your own masters. I've come to tell you that you don't have to obey them anymore. From this day forward, you can walk with your heads held high. You can take your destiny in your hands. Jericho is a place for those of us who want freedom. Now sure, you can stay here and continue to serve them. Or you can come with us. <laughs> Just gotta stand right next to fight her. by our side. You're free now. It's up to you to decide. I'm with you. We're with you! I'll follow you, Marcus! I'm, I'm with you, you Marcus! We're with you! Marcus, you, Marcus, 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 Then follow me. <laughs> it's Marcus, snowing. I'm gonna send the humans a message. Send our message to the humans. Be passive or violent. What if I just poop everywhere? Bench. They're doing what you do, Marcus. Lead and they'll follow. Choose our symbol. It's gonna be the Verge logo. <laughs> v for Vendetta. The screens, Marcus. <laughs> we have a dream. <laughs> this game sometimes it's so far up its own ass. It's hilarious. Again, good. It has its heart in the right place, but good fucking lord, how pretentious. Uh, turn off. Was that? Pacifistic? Okay. I don't know. That's kind of vague. Transform Capital Park. I mean, I'd rather not be violent, but we gotta get her out. Wait. What is... Okay, yeah, again, I would not say turning off things is pacifistic, but I don't... It's so vague. <laughs> What am I doing? R1. Why'd you blow it up? Is that really pacifistic? I'll help you. I can't breath, but I'm alive. Is that what it said? That would be funny as shit. Oh yeah, we're really sending them a message now. We turn the car sideways. They know not to fuck with us. <laughs> oh my god, this game is so corny. And I would say hacking is probably less violent than destroying, right? <laughs> Is 
there anything else to do? There's one thing over here. Smoke bomb. Why? My eyes. Get him with the graffiti. The jet set radio. Also, is it me or is this music extremely overwrought for what is happening right now? We don't need masters anymore. We're free. What did you even tag him with? We just like gave him an armband? Is that supposed to be like a Nazi thing? And then the music just cut out. <laughs> Did we do it? The Verge. This we uprising was brought to you we by the it. Verge. They're coming. Everyone fall back to Jericho. We sent a message without violence just like you wanted. You're reaching out to them when all they feel for us is contempt. I hope you know what you're doing. You can't fight I'm so sad you haven't killed anything. There's no other choice. Your fucking eyeballs. It's time to send our final message. Who? Who did this? Licking her lips. <laughs> She's gonna be so mad. An eye for an eye, the world goes blind. We won't punish a crime with another crime. Can already feel her bitching. Yeah, exactly. She still has the gun. Do me this fucking thing. This just in. At exactly 2 a.m., several Cyber Life stores in Detroit were raided. Different locations were hit in what seems to be a coordinated terrorist attack. Most shop windows were covered with graffiti demanding rights for androids and other obscure slogans. Police report that pro android graffiti. I thank God they're indifferent. Of Cyber Life stores, and they're still investigating. Two policemen were found in a state of shock near one of the CyberLife stores. Now, according to our sources, they confirmed that the attackers were a group of androids. This is an alarming situation. Could our machines now be turning against us? Have androids become a threat to our security? Is this the beginning of a terrorist campaign conducted right here in the United States? Boop, 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 boop. Let's see what everybody chose. P. 
Peace. Peace and love, baby. Hank is my friend. Okay, Lieutenant? Chris was on patrol last night. He was attacked by a bunch of deviants. Said he was saved by Marcus himself. Is Chris okay? Yeah, he's in shock, but he's alive. Kamsky left Cyberlife ten years ago. Why did you want to meet him? This guy created the first android to pass the Turing test. And he's the founder of Cyberlife. If anybody can tell us about Deviants, it's him. This is about to be the uh, Ex Machina part. Where we're in a villa. In the middle of nowhere. And then they all go batshit crazy. Hey, it's the girl from the main menu. Hi. Uh, I'm uh, Lieutenant Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. Okay. Don't know. I'll let Elijah know you're here, but please make yourself comfortable. I'm a little bothered that she's looking like all formal and shit in that dress and then is not wearing shoes. <laughs> like put on some house slippers or something. So we can sit. Oh, this looks a little vain. T-600, the first Cyberlife android to pass the Turing test. I didn't ask for her technical specs, I just said she was nice. We love art. Nice place. Guess androids haven't been a bad thing. Bad thing. Amanda. Hey. She's important. Thanks for everybody. Is this a motherfucking thing to read? your maker, Connor. I can't respond because I'm in a fucking magazine. Space tourism on the ride. One percenter enjoying space or something. Uh, this is quantum calculator. Mass extinction events. AI too much influence. Leap artificial intelligence close. Kamsky is one of the great gen Ge geniuses of the 21st century. It'll be interesting to meet him in person. Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. I was gonna look at that tree, but never mind. Glad you will see you now. Android is back. Get info. Wow, y'all ever just swim in blood? Mr. Kamsky! Just a moment, please.
Man bun. Wow, you ever just talk and not say any words? <laughs> I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? Perfect beings with infinite intelligence. And now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't that ironic? Don't you think? We need to understand how androids become deviants. Do you know anything that could help us? All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? Whose side are you on? <sighs> I'm on the human side, of course. Well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you. What do you really want? Mm. I don't want anything. I am a machine. Yeah, Connor's interesting. And Marcus, like, yeah, his stuff is so fucking corny. I'm sure you're familiar with the I like Kara's a lot, too, actually. Your formality. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, you'll see. Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Young and beautiful forever. We know his type. That's why he's got the flower that will never ten win. of the same model walking around. What is it really? A piece of plastic containing a human? Or a living being? With a soul? Oh, look, a gun. It's up to you to answer that fascinating question. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it, if you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out of here. What's more important pool. to you, Connor? Your investigation, or the life of this android? Decide who you are. <laughs> An obedient machine. Or a living being. Endowed with free will. That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Connor! <laughs> don't! And I'll tell you what. Fucking kill her! Kill her! Big up. Life's last chance to save humanity is itself a deviant. I'm. I'm not a deviant. You prefer to spare a machine rather than accomplish your mission. 
you saw a living being in this android. You showed empathy. A war is coming. You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people or stand up against your creators? What can be worse than having to choose between two evils? Let's get out of here. The creator's dick size. By the way, he's got a micro penis. I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. Why didn't you shoot? I just saw that girl's eyes, and I couldn't. That's all. You're always saying you would do anything to accomplish your mission. That was our chance to learn something, and you let it go. Yeah, I know what I should have done. I told you I couldn't. I'm sorry, okay? Well, maybe you did the right thing. Best buds. Sixty percent completed. Because I didn't shoot her. <laughs> Basically, if only you could do all of the choices at once. A loading screen. Interesting. Back to Marcus. Marcus is so whack. Oh, I'm playing. Sorry. Hey, look, I'm not timed so I can read it. Riot. A number of Detroit neighborhoods were brutally vandalized last night with cyber life stories broken into stores. Not stories. Broken into and the entire stock of androids stolen, but this wasn't everyday criminality. Uh, the perpetrators are thought to be androids, though the police have yet to issue an official statement. Leaked CCTV footage from the surrounding area shows a number of androids emerging from manhole covers and smashing store windows. <coughs> the worst incident was in Capitol Park, where police attended the scene and were confronted by androids behaving violently. Officers had no choice but to open fire on the malfunctioning machines, which are thought to be suffering from some kind of behavioral bug. An eyewitness, who asked to remain anonymous, said, I was personally attacked by the ringleader. It threatened me with a knife. I was so terrified. Of course, this allegation remains unconfirmed, but we have no reason to disbelieve a human witness as to the behavior of a deranged machine. Some are already connecting this issue to the recent attack on Detroit's Stanford Tower, again executed by androids. This may be the beginning of a disturbing and perplexing pattern. Space race. Only two countries have android industries that rival the United States, Russia and China, and they are locked in fierce competition to become the world's predominant eastern economy, which continues to overtake the western hemisphere by leaps and bounds. Cyberlife's almost human model of android design complements America's service economy. Russia and China have also developed androids that reflect their national economies. Uh, after failing to emulate the blue blood model of design, Russia's Android manufacturers rely on more traditional construction methods. The resulting machines are less anth anthropic, but capable of operating in cold and in inhospitable conditions. China's androids use an alternative, alternative blue blood fluid with less upfront power generation, but greater efficiency. The result are androids capable of operating for months without supervision or recharging in China's vast rural areas. Who is winning the new space race? With everybody going in different directions, it's too soon to tell. <laughs> you see, Hank, this is the Steinsgate timeline. God, he's so fucking edgy. You even gotta walk out to the edge here? Come on, dude. Senior Cornball. It's not the actor's fault. They just wrote him really dumb. I was
was wondering where you were. I needed to see the daylight. I like it here. I come here often. It's like being alone with the world. We freed hundreds of our people, and they're still coming from all over the city. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. Something's changing. You seem preoccupied. They all obey me. They follow me without question. And that much power feels good. And scary at the same time. All the media are talking about what we did last night. The humans are terrified. They're afraid of a civil war. Many of our people were burned in response to what happened. The humans hate us. They'll never give us our freedom. If they won't listen. We'll fight. You haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us. Why is that always? We'll just kill him. Yeah, no, but he's like so woke, dude. I was caring for an old man. He was like a father to me. He showed me that humans and androids can't live together. What about you? You never told me about your past. What did you do before? I don't want to talk about it. Oh. That android you were looking at in the store. She reminded you of who you were, didn't she? We all have something we want to forget. But you need to know where you come from to know who you are. I was nothing. A doll in a distributor program to satisfy humans. Just a toy designed for their pleasure. One day I was with a man who rented me. Without knowing why, I realized I couldn't take it anymore. I strangled him and I ran away. There, now you know everything. I should have told you. Connect! Android kiss. This is how androids kiss. Through their fingers. I... I saw your memories. Lover! Carl's house. <laughs> they just the fucked. Studio. <laughs> I saw your memories too. The Eden Club. The death of that man. I felt like I was there with you. We just went. <laughs> we just went from like just allies to companions to lovers in about twenty seconds. <laughs> Only Cage. He's he hasn't nailed the whole uh, loving relationship thing down yet. Hello, welcome back. I'm glad I didn't shoot you, buddy boy. Actually, maybe it's a good thing I didn't find him on the roof. Since now he can be uh, with them. It's kind of cool. 
This is suicide. We'll all be killed. Please, Marcus. It's not too late to change your mind. You don't understand. We're finally gonna show them who we really are. This place will go down in history. We'll be killed on the spot. That's a risk I'm prepared to take if it means freedom for our people. Yeah. <laughs> Marcus. <laughs> Don't do I know her outfit just screams like fucking gorilla. Like she's just gonna we'll go and graffiti understand. everything. This is the only way. Him with his hood up, that's also not suspicious. There are here who could join us. Rally your people. The more we are, the stronger our message. Do, do, do. Also, I don't know why, but he's reminding me of like the um. You're free. Uh, what is it? Infamous. I think it's the the hoodie. <clears throat> Come with us. I'd love to. <laughs> Plus one. Unfortunately, you can't. Otherwise, I totally would. You're awake now. Oh, I see. The the worker ones have the armbands. Guess I'll just um. Get all the ones I can see. Hmm? You're free now. You hey, are free now. Where do you think you're going? You get back here. Leave him alone. He's chosen to be free. <laughs> well, fine. I need to block the street. Oh my god. Retfuse.com. Is that a real website? Somebody go look. Well, that's one way to block a street, I guess. This looks like an android. You're free. You're free. Stiletto's Edge. Got any androids over here? No. Oh, here's some. Toot toot. Yeah, keep honking. It'll work. You don't have to obey them. You're free. Okay. Honk. I think that's all I've got. <laughs> you can't go this way. When the characters turn around, it always looks so funny. It's like they just remember they left the stove on at home. Oops. You're free. You're free. Convert more androids. Warp conversion. Hey, that one looks just like Kara. You're free now. Are these gonna be marked, or should I just constantly keep looking on the sides?
this music is so fucking corny. Oh my god. The Verge. Jesus. Greg, you're fired. Can I get shot? Let's just keep walking. Jesus fucking Christ. I need backup. This bed's is twelve four fifty seven. Well, I got a lot of androids down here. I don't know, hundreds, thousands of They're marching. Freedom! Yeah, they're marching down the street. Freedom! Freedom! Fuck if I know. No more came here to demonstrate peacefully and tell humans that we are living beings all we want is to live free this is an illegal gathering disperse immediately or we will open fire we're not looking for confrontation we've done no harm we have no intention of doing any but know that we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom I repeat this is an illegal gathering if you do not disperse immediately, we will shoot. You're not wrong. Marcus, they're gonna kill us. We have to attack. There's more of us. We can take them. If we attack, we'll start a war. We have to show them we're not violent. We should just stand their ground, even if it means dying here. Dying here won't solve anything. Marcus, we need to go now, before it's too late. <laughs> this is your last chance. Disperse immediately, or you will all be killed. Uh, okay. Sink, sink, sink. Sink, sink, sink. Um, I feel like <laughs> none of these are good.
a toughie. I'm gonna say it's lame, but I'm gonna say just run. Don't shoot! <laughs> Don't shoot! We're leaving. Affirmative. Okay, shoot. I would say keep dispersing, yeah. Run! Jericho mad. North mad. Josh friend. Simon happy. Come on. Oh, by the way. Go. North, I don't give a fuck. We're already lovers, so. <laughs> I don't know. I felt like that's the only one I could get away with alive. Probably the ideal one was to stay in your ground, and then he probably just gets fucking fucked. But then the public's like, oh. Very good public opinion, but I'd I'd like to keep my characters alive. I'm gonna be honest. And then the war thing. I mean, that's probably second most ideal. But then public opinion is gonna drop like a fucking rock. So uh, mm, that was just kind of one you couldn't win. Wow, you ever just stand on a frozen lake? Jason! Jason! After what happened today, the country is on the verge of a civil war. The machines are rising up against their masters. Humans have no choice but to destroy them. <laughs> Locks? Okay. I thought Kemsky knew something. I was wrong. Maybe he did. But you chose not to ask. I chose not to play his twisted little game. There was no reason to kill that android. <laughs> I saw a photo of Amanda at Kamsky's place. She was his teacher. When Kamsky designed me, he wanted an interface that would look familiar. That's why he chose his former mentor. What are you getting at? Kemsky designed this place? He created the first version. It's been improved significantly since then. Why do you ask? I'm not a unique model, am I? <laughs> How many Connors are there? I expect you to find answers, Connor. Distrust them. Not ask questions. Uh -oh. You're the only one who can prevent civil war. Find the deviants. Or there will be chaos. This is your last chance, Connor. She mad. You're off the case. The FBI is taking over. What? But we're on to something. Wait, we just need more time, I'm sure we Hank, can. you don't get it. This isn't just another investigation. It's a she fucking does. civil war. It's out of our hands now. She liked me just a little bit ago, security. but like the moods you can't just pull the plug now, not when we're so seesaw close. like You're fucking crazy in this game. Androids. Jesus Hank, make up your mind. I thought you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. I know we can solve it. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? There's nothing I can do. You're back on homicide, and the android returns to Cyberlife. I'm sorry, Hank, but it's over. Friend.
think I may have fucked up. Because I've missed several things with Jericho. Maybe if I had shot her, I could have done it, but... We could have solved this case. We just needed more time. So you're going back to cyber life? I have no choice. I'll be deactivated and analyzed to find out why I failed. What if we're on the wrong side, Connor? What if we're fighting against people who just want to be free? rise up there will be chaos we could have stopped it now it's too late <laughs> that's not what I meant by regrets but what's new when you refuse to kill that android at Kamsky's place you put yourself in her shoes you showed empathy Connor empathy's a human emotion You're wrong, Lieutenant. It was logic that determined my decisions. Nothing more. I know it hasn't always been easy, but I want you to know I really appreciated working with you. And that's not just my social relations program talking. I, I really mean that. At least... <laughs> Perkins, that motherfucker. Sure don't waste any time at the FBI. We can't give up. I know the answers and the evidence we collected. If Perkins takes it, it's all over. There's no choice. You heard Fowler. We're off the case. You've got to help me, Lieutenant. I need more time so I can find a lead in the evidence we collected. I know the solution is in there. Listen, Connor. If I don't solve this case, Cyberlife will destroy me. Five minutes. That's all I ask. Key to the basement. It's definitely getting like close to the end of the game because shit is going down. Well, get a move on. I can't distract him forever. It's because he's a deviant. He doesn't want to die. Perkins, you fucking. <laughs> Let me see. Rough housing him. Hey, Connor. I'm talking to you, asshole. Where are you going? Wouldn't need any plastic print. The asshole, I'm talking to you. Shut up. You asshole! You busted my balls! Okay, what? Use camera. Hank's password. What would a hard boiled eccentric police lieutenant choose? <laughs> Stupid idea. It's not Hankish enough. Fucking password. <laughs> Course. Obviously. Yeah, maybe he was designed that way. Where is Jericho? The answer's here somewhere. Not much time. The deviant who took a child hostage. What does that mean? What does any of this mean? 420. There's the statue. What? Why can't I? Be? What? Is that just like a red herring to waste my fucking time?
It's not looking good, friends. The Deviant Leader speech. It's decryption key. Oh, okay, never mind. I guess when I'm in those menus, it doesn't take time. Go. So I can probably take parts from this and then put them... What did I need? I think it was the top one. Four seven. Okay. Grab this. Reactivate this one. One of the deviants that hacked the TV station with Marcus. It must have known where the deviants are hiding. Three eight, three nine eight. I don't want Connor boy to die because I jobbed. Connor's a good boy. good friends. Oh, I see. Maybe if I take that over to him. Oh, I can sample his voice. This message is the hope of a people. But it is also a warning. Okay. It's promising. since the first second I saw you. Don't do it, Gavin. I know how to stop the deviants. You're off the case. And now, it's gonna be definitive. I finally get to kick this guy's ass. <laughs> Thank God. Get fucked. You're pathetic. 
You should pee on him too. What happened here? Looks like someone's been snooping around. Oh shit. Get the alarm. Now <laughs> that cop jogging looked so concerned. <laughs> okay. I think we saved our boy. I think we saved Connor. Look at all of those variations. Holy shit. What was the other option? Gavin kills Connor down there? That would be so lame. Okay. Okay. It's really starting to diverge now. But I think he's still alive. So, this is good. They've been conducting raids all over the city. Everybody's on edge after what happened yesterday. It's a really good way to accidentally shoot people in a car, by the way. It's gonna be alright. We're almost there. Some sick tunes. It's so funny that they don't even have steering wheels because <laughs> they're self-driving. It's like, you don't even get the opportunity to drive. You're free now. You're free, and you're free, and you're free. Sorry, Alice, you're getting too big. <clears throat> From all this food you haven't been eating. Since you're a fucking bot. A little further on that way, there's a large freighter called Jericho. When you get there, find Marcus. He will help you. <clears throat> the last bus for the border leaves at midnight. You absolutely have to be on it. You'll be safer on the other side. It's not much, but it's a start. My brother lives in Ontario. I've given you his address. He'll be able to hide you until things calm down. You're a very brave little girl, Alice. You deserve to be happy. Thank you for everything, Rose. Let me know when you make it over there, alright? And be careful. Take care of them. No hug for him. Come on, girls. Where did I hang around? Yeah, but what if there's a magazine to read? Hmm? Then I have to hang around. We have a bus to catch. Goodbye, Rose. You had a nice design. Is this where I'm supposed to go? Yeah. Let's just go down the street. Car has a nice design too, but it's very uh It's not unique, I should say. Like Rose, a big a big black woman. 
Oh my god, this is our boy Connor. He looks so lame. <laughs> In his street clothes. Well, I apologize for uh, indirectly insulting your roommate. Definitely looks better in a suit. I'll say that much. Places happen. Boy, oh, supposed to find a warm place for Alice. She's a fucking bot. Please. How do you feel? Stay with her. I'll try to find this Marcus. The last bus is in two hours. And the terminal's on the other side of town. We haven't got much time. We'll leave as soon as we have passports. Carol. <laughs> There's something I have to tell you. Not right now. It's about Alice. We'll have lots of time to talk on the bus. I'll be back. Stay with Alice. It's like this fucking woman! Mr. Marcosa. Is it the one thing I can interact with over here? Don't catch anyone's attention. Oh, okay. Well, let's not look at those. That'll draw attention for sure. The upstairs. Does she know? <laughs> I'd also, I think he, I'd say he failed in not drawing any attention to himself. Got the attention of like one of the weirdest androids here. This looks like a very important room for a very impor important boy. Are you Marcus? I'm with a little girl and another android. There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours, and we need passports. No, Detroit's under curfew. There's soldiers everywhere. They're rounding up all the androids and sending them to camps. Maybe you should stay here a while. Maybe you're right. You might be safer here until things calm down. One of our people used to work in the State Department. He has electronic passports he can easily modify. I'll have him get them to you. Thank you. You said you're with a little girl, right? You know that humans hate us. Why are you protecting her? It's a long story. <laughs> She's an android. <laughs> okay, now what? We turn to Alice. It's 
gonna be her drinking like blue blood or some shit. Or this fucking weird half head dreadlocks lady talking shit in her ear. Uh, where was that? Turned off. Oh. Different Alice. <laughs> oh, that's the thing she refused to read. Makes sense. What a twist. She wanted a mom. And you wanted someone to care for her. You needed each other. What difference does it make? Do you love her any less now that you know she's one of us? Alice loves you, Kara. She loves you more than anything in the world. She became the little girl you wanted, and you became the mother she needed. Yeah, that would make sense. You are, to become what someone needs you to be. Maybe that's what it means to be alive. Also, I mean, not that it makes it any better, but at least he was abusing a an android version. But they're just like the humans, the moral dilemma, dun dun dun. What am I supposed to do now? Yeah, it also stands to reason that he's constantly repairing the little one too from beating it up and you'd think people would be like, hmm, you gotta stop running, running over your fucking androids, dude. But that's just me. Kara realizing that she stole chocolate and cookies for an android. He probably has no nothing he can do about it to be honest just like we're short on blue blood and bio components it's on a need to know basis are shutting down and there's nothing we can do president warren is saying we're exactly. threat to national security and we need to be exterminated humans are conducting raids in all the big cities and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them it's a disaster they're slaughtering our people. Slaughtering. Fault. If none of this would have happened, we just stayed quiet. The only thing we asked for was freedom. They don't even want to hear that. So now they punish us for who we are. Your television speech sounded like a declaration of war. Violence only leads to more violence. You reap what you sow. Maybe my judgment was clouded by anger. But everything that I did was for our people. We shouldn't forget who our enemies are. Look at that and texture behind his head. Up. Holy shit. He's right. All that, matters that was now bad. Is what we do next. Marcus? Mm. Dialogue. I will go alone. Try to talk to them one last time. Don't do this, Marcus. 
They'll kill you. Maybe. But I have to try. Also, if I don't come back, lay low as long as we've seen can. death for androids means jack shit. This dude has already died once. Just come back. So they need to realize how much they're hurting us. Find the right words, and they'll listen. They've been butchering each other for centuries over the color of their skin or whatever god. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Violence is just in their genes. They can't stop oh. you Since you've been here, you've given us hope. Jesus. You've given me hope. Whoever wrote that line today should be whipped with a belt on the bum. That was He said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Edge Lord and rigged it to explode. I convinced him not to do it. To give me the detonator. A dirty bomb. We can't lose this war, Marcus. If humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. Shouldn't become like them, Lord. We can gain our freedom better than anyone else. I hope you're right. I love to kill humans. I just want to kill humans. Whatever happens tomorrow, I just want you to know that. I love you and killing humans, but not in that order. Uh oh, they're gonna fuck through their hands again. Kisu! Don't worry, they censored the kiss. You wanna know why? Because they can't animate kissing. You guys have seen the heavy rain kiss, right? Yeah, it looks like you just like took two Barbies and just kind of rubbed their faces into each other. Marcus, I hopefully my instability is high enough that I can not shoot him. I've been ordered to take you alive. But I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice. What are you doing? You're one of us. You can't betray your own people. You're coming with me! You're Connor, aren't you? That famous deviant hunter. Well, congratulations. You seem to have found what you were looking for. Our cause is righteous and we are more than what they say. All we want is to live in freedom. Something irrational, as if there's something 
I am Besides, fighting myself, but I'm trying to let myself win. Even more than your program. Have you never wondered who you really are? Whether you're just a machine executing a program or a living being capable of reason. I think the time has come for you to ask yourself that question. It's time to decide. Become a deviant. Become as gods. Amanda gonna be mad, but that's not really Amanda, so who gives a shit? that simple. I am deviant. <laughs> Amanda betrayed. They're going to attack Jericho. What? Wow, I wish you told me that sooner. We have to get out of here. Run, run, run. This way. There must be an exit further on. Come in, quick! Hopefully he's still behind me. Uh. Choices. Okay, I need a breather. I gotta pee. I'll be right back.
I'm gonna try my best not to get anybody killed, but we'll see. There are exits on the second and third floor. Find them and jump in the river. Uh, Where's Simon and Josh? I don't know. And, and Josh, his coat. Just They're coming from the upper deck now too. We'll be caught in the crossfire. We have to run, Marcus. There's nothing we can do. We have to blow up Jericho. If the ship goes down, they'll evacuate, and our people can escape. You'll never make it. The explosives are all the way down in the hold. There are soldiers everywhere. She's right. They know who you are. They'll do anything to get you. Go and help the others. I'll join you later. Marcus! I won't be long. That texture. Get the fuck out of my way, dude. They not see him. It's too late, Captain. Save yourself. Save Alice. No, we're not going to leave you behind. Right, Carl? We can't leave him. Uh oh. Uh. <laughs> fuck. We did save his life, I think, maybe. She'll die out there, Carl. Open it, open the door. Alice, you're gonna get us killed, girl. Where the fuck was the android's body that got shot? What the fuck? Uh, what is happening? Stressful things are happening. Oh. How the fuck would Jericho know that? Please. The only people that witnessed it were me and the people that just fucking died. Jericho will remember that. Gamma squad out. Tango. Uh, okay. Calculate it. Stop. <gasps> Easy 
calculations. I don't think it worked. Okay, that's a dead end apparently. Find another move. Sorry, androids. Time to get shot. Uh, obviously play dead. Get down! Wow, there's such good shots. It was risky, but it worked. Quick, we've got to go. <clears throat> okay, so far so good. None of the major characters have died. Say right before Marcus dies because I can't figure out something stupid. The self destruct sequence. Go, move. Go and join the others. Wow, why does he just let him walk up like that? These QTEs. There's too many. I'm gonna fail one of these. No? Okay. And then these late game things, I know with heavy rain, all you gotta do is fail one and then whoop, your character's dead. <laughs> Seriously. Marcus. Bomb's gonna explode any second. We gotta get out of here. Oh no, I didn't save the random androids that nobody knows the names of. Rip. Wait, she was in front of me. How the fuck did that happen? It's too late, Marcus. There's nothing we can do for her. We've gotta run. Oh, fuck off with that shit. What is this shit? Out of this fucking <laughs> Run, quick, come on. <laughs> Jesus. Look at that badass coat. Okay. They detonated an explosive in the hold. The ship is sinking, sir. The men to evacuate. Calling all units. Abandon ship and evacuate immediately. Jeez, that was quite a sequence of events. I can't wait to see this fucking tree. Oh, it's gonna be several trees. Good lord. 
It's still going. It's still going. Everybody lived. And it's also lagging because we can't render all of these fucking... I want to see how many people made it out with Kara. That one seemed kind of hard. Whoa, what is this big skip? What the fuck? The frame rate? Remains still. What? 75%. a big old tree right there. You always said that living was about making choices. So what if I chose to defend myself against Leo? Maybe you could still be alive. Maybe a lot of things could have been different. Unless all of this was just meant to happen. I just wanted my people to be free. But instead, all I did was lead them to disaster. I am trying to find answers, but everything around me keeps falling apart. What should I do, Carl? They're killing us. I don't want to answer violence with violence, but what choice do I have? Help me, Carl. Please help me. <laughs> and then he just walks away. his son here's the question where did his inheritance go did you just give the son like a billion dollars for drugs if so he should probably be dead right place but I'm gonna stop here for a sec grab a bite come back and then we're gonna finish this tonight for sure because we're we're so close I can feel it so I'll be like 20 minutes ish hopefully so be back soon PS we're at uh, six hours and 28 minutes of live time so
Hello, I'm alive. Hmm. That uh, took a, just a little longer than expected, so sorry about that. What the fuck was I doing? I was gonna give a rousing speech, of course. Hmm. I, uh, think I'm gonna have to restart the, um... Oh, yes. Because there's some audio delay. So, be right back. <laughs> 